All right, everybody. Welcome back. Our last session began in the early morning hours here at Tribor, just as you were seeing Jaratha, the Lord Protector of this area, looking to the south, concern on her face as she had just sent the Twelve, the Protectors of Tribor, south to check on one of the farmsteads a ways away that had just reported an orc attack. And with the Twelve gone, she was worried that this might be a prelude to something bigger. And as you all met there in the town square and began talking about what might, what might be coming, screams and shouts began as boulders began to fall from the sky, crushing buildings, as a veritable army of foes marched from the north towards Tribor. The frontier town's defenders gone. You all, the only ones left to defend this place, alongside with some new allies, some people that you had met along your journey through Tribor in your exploration of this place, they now stand at your side against a pair of large fire giants, making their way into town alongside, again, a veritable army of their minions. So we are coming back right in the middle of this fight, and I will go ahead and drop you guys on the map and we'll start going over what happened last time. <clears throat> so, the majority of this force had come from the north. Two fire giants with five orogs in front of them, crushing all in their path as they monotonously began their march forward. From multiple different directions, orcs atop axe beaks came riding in, some from the forests to the west, others directly from that attacking force in the north. These creatures seem to be the vanguard of the attack, rushing forward, drawing out any and all defenders, and trying to keep you all busy as the other, more threatening enemies approached and made their slow, monotonous march into town. The fire giants just began, just got into range to begin picking up rocks and hurling them forward towards all of you. And, yes, so... Each and every one of you was given a special NPC, and you were told that that NPC would give you... Each one of these NPCs had a special quest and special rewards tied to them. Rewards and, and quests that would only be assigned to you all, or presented to you all, if that individual survived this battle. So, we'll go ahead and go down the list of the different NPCs that you guys got. Um, and, yeah. So, Frederick, you had Dorothra herself, the, essentially the captain of the guard here in Tribor. What did you and her get up to last time, last session? I see Dorotha is up here to the north a bit. And Frederick, uh -huh. where are you at? I am currently on the uh, large horse in the corner near between Urgala. Ur right here. I don't know. Yeah, that was awesome. There, the horse is currently blocking me. Um, all right. So what happened last session was originally Dorotha and Frederick were going to take care of this area up here and attack anything that which uh, came down. But hearing that one of the giants is coming for the rod. Frederick broke uh, broke from the group and retreated himself, while D uh, Dorotha stayed and basically did cover fire. Okay, and then we have Dars Dars Helgar, the former thief of Waterdeep, who was in a, who was known to Brevin. Um, had a bit of a run in with one another at one point. I know Brevin is down here. Um, he, I believe yeah. he is one of these concentration symbols that we can see here. Brevin, what was what was what was your focus last session? Um, uh, there were two forces of enemies coming in, one being um, uh, orcs and ogres from the um, uh, <clears throat> from the west. So whenever the party heard of that, uh, Brevin used the fly spell to sprout wings and flew over here to try to intercept them, so that to try to prevent the party from being caught between both. Basically trying to take out this front before the giants got here. 
Fantastic. And where's Dars? He is just a little bit north on this one horse here. Oh, he yeah, has I been see. running around trying to see where he can... Uh, trying to find opportunities to sneak attack things with varying success. All right. We also have... Uh, oh. Go ahead. He's pretty sure that he's not going to last long if he tries to square up one-on-one -on -one with any of these things. We now have North Tezrin, the exuberant young man who was eager to enter into adventure. You all met him while you were passing through the town square the previous day. A very enthusiastic young man, very um, eager to prove his worth to a group of fighting adventurers. So, Drake, I believe you were in control of North. What were you uh, and North up to last session? So, uh, first thing I did uh, last session was, uh, as soon as the alarm was sung, uh, I went to go grab my horse, at which point uh, I met up with North. Um, I then told, told, told gave North some orders since he wanted to, to help us, and he seemed very excited to, you know, prove himself. And finally, you know, get a bit of the limelight. Uh, so I told them uh, there's some valuable cargo uh, in the court, in like the stables area or courtyard area here. And so I told them uh, go go defend that area for now, and I'll call you if I need you up up at the front. But make sure nothing happens to this because if anything happens to that, it could be really bad for all of us. So after that, I moved up and started uh, switching between the two lines, uh, trying to cover fire for my allies, uh, before eventually moving up top here to uh, eliminate a bunch of the enemies with a nice little fireball, only to get hit by a massive rock <laughs> in the face, <laughs> which really, really hurt, but I'm somehow still alive, so we're good. All right, there's the, uh, there's the group, the unfortunate victims of the fireball, right up there. Um, okay, fantastic. And then we have Miss Urgula Meltimer. And Dandy, I do believe that you were yes. responsible for Urgula in this fight. Um, Urgula being the proprietor of the inn, um, the North Shield Inn, not far from the center of town. A retired adventurer, um, Urgula quickly proved that she is quite capable of protecting herself and her home. Uh, Dandy, what were you and Urgula up to? Uh, Ergola was, uh, she sent anyone in the inn to the, uh, east, I believe, away from all the fighting towards the, the woods, um, and left with her mace a bunch of Molotov cocktails and her crossbow, cool as a cucumber, walking towards the fight. She awesome. is waiting for, uh, in the, uh, arena, I guess, the, uh, what is that? Stables? It was the campground. Campground with One all the, the horses. Um, to kind of have a little bit of cover as these uh, invaders come closer. She's going to pick them off. She freaking hates giants and she's going to... She'll burn this whole place down if it means getting to them. <laughs> all right. And what was Dandy up to? Uh, getting her ass kicked. Uh, she is currently um, surrounded by... I think those are dead axe beaks and those are in fact dead orcs. Ogre. <laughs> and she's gonna be focusing on that ogre. Okay. Because it's right in front of her. <laughs> and then we have Horus right down here, who was given Gelrin Fohammer, the dwarven smith of some renown, um, from Citadel Felbar. Uh, he was once the royal armor armorer there. Um another individual who was quick to take up arms and do his part to defend his town. Um, Horus, what were you and what were you and Gelrin up to? Gelrin was sitting in his smith, having his uh, uh, a morning drink and ale, when running by the front door there were orcs? Or Griglians? Yep. Something? <laughs> and, orcs. and they were on axe beaks or... And he's like, well, that's odd. And he, so he runs out of the front of the smithy, grabbing his axes, and he, he runs after the, uh, the orcs traveling quickly, but they're traveling too quick for him to catch up. And he sees 
rocks flying overhead, and he turns back and he sees these giants coming into town from the north. So he veers off to the to the manor house up the hill to tell the wizard that the town is under attack and that his house will be caught on fire by these little uh, uh, fire method guys and that he should really do something to defend his house and the town and his life and his things. Uh, the mage agrees and he starts running out and Gelrin's still on the front porch gonna try and catch up to him. <laughs> Meanwhile, Horace, Horace runs south to where Brevin and Dandy are to uh, block some incoming attacks and take some uh, some fire off of them. When he sees the uh, the orcs that Gelrin had seen earlier riding into town, so so he he uh, runs runs north to go meet them, uh, seeing seeing the wizard with a spear strapped to his back <laughs> on horseback riding out on the east on the east road saying saying you know now would be a good time for a fireball fireball <laughs> yeah now is a, a, a good, look they're all together okay and that's where horace is <laughs> all right fantastic okay great everybody so, Silren, welcome back. You did miss last week, as you can see, uh, quite a bit happened. It's one of those interesting sessions where not a lot happened, but a lot happened. <laughs> but, um, so I'll go ahead and read the prompt here, and so you can kind of get an idea of what's going on with these special NPCs. But in addition to your character, each of you has received a special non-player character with ties to the location here in Tribor. Um, take a moment to review your NPC's personality traits and statistics, which I am showing to you right now. All right, Silrin, here you go. So take a second to look over to look over the NPC's personality traits, their statistics. Each of these characters is a combatant, and one of your goals in this part of the adventure is to keep your special NPC alive. Each one of these NPCs that survives, for each one of them, your party will receive a special quest. That yields reward upon a reward upon its successful completion. The details of these special quests will not be revealed until the end of this part of the adventure. So, I any, any questions there? The There's Soren. Uh, nope. <laughs> yes, yeah, Soren did most of the prying there, thankfully. <laughs> very, very persuasive individual he is. Um, okay, so are Silren... we all supposed to have the NPC that we're associated with? Yes. Uh, I have Orthavir Nandar. Okay, so maybe I didn't show you guys all their MP, all their sheets. Uh, I got Nandar too. I think everybody had oh, Nandar you're... because you guys oh, all knew him. Uh, oh, you're okay. able to go to the area where the player character sheets are. Scroll down, and it has the Tribor NPCs. And you can click on the appropriate one and get the character sheet from there. Yep, I think you guys all have access to every NPC at this point. Yes. At least visible, at least visibility on them. Thank you. No problem. Okay, so, Silrin, um, we basically had Othavir just running south. He started off in his shop here, which was, which is, which is pretty close to the line of fire right now. But he, all he did for that entire thing was just run down from his home and place of business southward to where he currently is, right here. Um, Silren, if you would like to, if you would like to be have been doing anything specific during that whole fight, you can make some prepar some preparative spells or anything like that that you would want to do. Any sort of prep that you would that you would have been doing during that last session, you can go ahead and do now. Um, aside from that, I have you in the tower at the center of town unless you would prefer to have started somewhere else. Uh, nope, wherever wherever you had me, that's that'll be fine. Got it. 
Is he going to get a few actions to catch up with us, or you're just going to yes, do preparatory stuff? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So, Silrin, you would have been able to, like uh, like Drake was mentioning, you would have been able to take some actions and do some catching up. So, right now you're at the center of town. You can go ahead and place yourself wherever, looking around and seeing all this chaos that was happening. You can go ahead and place yourself wherever you think would have been most most prudent for Silrin to end up after all of that. Mm, oh my gosh, what's... Yeah, uh, there's a melee, just... <laughs> yeah, there's a couple, there's a few different things going on. The main places of action right now are the Eastern Campground right over here. There is Dandy, um, Horace, and Brevin all fighting over there. Um, you've got the Campground over here. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not pinging properly. You've got this Campground over here. Right. You've got the Western Campground, which is where the, um, where the, where your rod is, where the party's rod of the bone and dog currently is. And right. all things point towards the giants being on their way to claim your rod. And right. then to the direct north of that campground is the second essential line of fighting right now, which is happening right here. Um, there was a charge of Axebeak riding orcs on their way in, but they were dealt with. But that is the current direction that the giants and their main vanguard is coming from. Okay. So you can go I ahead and position rod... Silver in wherever you'd prefer. Uh, Frederick currently has the rods strapped to his back. Right, Frederick is on right. his, is moving with the rod. That is correct. It's on this draft horse. Um, Sorry, I was, I was muted. I, I was muted the entire time. I was like wondering why no one was responding. Oh no, I hate when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> why yeah. is nobody so, paying attention yeah, to right. me? Uh, so right. I have the rod on my on my tongue. Right. <laughs> uh, I'm. I'm... Uh, I'm gonna run and claim one of these riding horses. Absolutely. So where would you have gone with that horse? Uh, I'm gonna claim one of the riding horses and grab the other one as well. Okay. Uh, by its reins, uh, and lead them to where Othavir is. Okay, he's right up here. Yeah. So I'll just take that group and put them there and tell Othavir to get on the horse. All right, that'll do. Okay, so let's get you and Othavir into the initiative. Go ahead and roll initiative for yourself, and you should also have the option to do so for Othavir. Got it. Go ahead and give him token actions real quick. I think they were going on our initiative. Yeah. Sorry? The, the NPCs were... We're going oh, on yes. our Thank initiative. you for reminding me. Uh, no need to roll for Othavir. He does act on your initiative. Perfect. And you can intersperse and split up your two actions however you prefer. Sounds good. Okay. All right, guys. Let's get into it. Change to the fighting music. Here we go. <laughs> All right, everyone. Okay. So... The giants are marching their way slowly but surely from the north end of town. They have just entered into range where they have begun lobbing rocks into your general direction. And after seeing that fireball, um, those of you that are in the, in their area and can look towards them would see them kind of stop and look around and kind of take stock of what's happening here. Obviously taking the situation a little bit more seriously, their initial smash and just march into town plan is obviously not working out as well as they planned. So, seeing that they are taking a new look at this situation, Frederick, you are up first. Okay, perfect. Okay, let me just... to move to Rothra up to a, right basically in front of Drake let me see yeah she has 30 feet of movement right yes right. so she can move up to there yeah that's a dead axe beak or it's a dead orc right? the axe beaks are not dead that axe beak is or not dead it's orc rider is Oh, wait, I don't think she can stay on that square then. Wait, okay. 
Right, she would not be able to. Right, let me see one more time. She goes down that one, though. Okay, perfect. You can see Jirotha just running and just jumps clean over that uh, picket fence to right there. And for Frederick... Oh, wait. Let me, uh... Let me just do a whole group thing. All right, there we go. Well, Frederick can move up to 40 feet, which should be right about here. Remember, your mount can take the dash action, so essentially you have movement equal to twice your mount's movement. Yes, that's a, I'll be 80 feet in total. Uh, can Dorotha get on the horse, or can I pull Dorotha on the horse? Absolutely. Um, it would take half of Dorotha's movement, so basically she would have to take a dash action to make this happen, but she can right. get onto the horse with you. But remember what we decided earlier with the... Um, Draft horses? Did we talked about it last session? Yeah, it did was we decide that they can't dash regular. with two riders? Yeah. Yeah. So you said you can't. They can't dash with two riders. Yeah. Or it was either no. It was it was, no, it was, it was gonna be like the regular movement. horses. The regular horses w wouldn't be able to dash, could be, uh, but the draft horses would. Okay, that's fine. We'll basically, that. Yeah. Basically, yeah. basically, basically, the movement was halved. <laughs> yeah. If, if I took a if I took a regular right, horse, the draft horses. Yeah, the draft horses didn't take any penalty because they had some extra oomph to them. The riding horses take a penalty when they have two riders. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. All right. So, so uh, each, yeah. for Dorotha, uh, she was used her dash of action to get on the horse with me. And for Frederick, how far? Let me just see that fast. You should be able to actually. It's not really good for that. Uh, it's the range of lightning bolt. I don't think I can reach. No, I'm not casting lightning bolt this early. Um, I'm, only, I'm saving that specifically for the giants. And only if they're lined up. I'm, I want to maximize that as much as can. I just want to see something fast. Uh, how much shatter? I just want to see how, how wide shatter is. Kind of forgot how much that spell. An eight by eight square, I believe. Sixty feet. Okay, yeah. It hit these two with it. Yeah. I want to see if we hit all three though. Oh, sorry. It's smaller than that. It's four by four. Yeah, you can only you, you, you can only you can only hit these these two. Yeah. Uh, bummer. The shadow well, would look like that. Right. Okay, I have another idea. They're all really low health, though. Yeah, I'll probably kill, but things like I want to make sure that kills all in one go. You know what I mean? But okay, yeah, I'll just cast shatter on those two. Got it. Yeah, that's fair. I, don't, I think they even if they fail, they're probably gonna die from this. Yeah. Yeah, they are, they are <laughs> badly they hurt. See. You guys see them yeah. like stumbling to their feet. They're like singed and charred. They're like, ah, as they're just so, like, rising up from their axe beaks. So like as as I pulled your Rotha on, I just turn and point my wand into the war, war mage on those two uh on those two orcs, and you see a, a glimpse of light, and you just go Poof, and it cause the shatter effect. Yeah, they don't they either. A success even sees them dead. So. Absolutely. These two clutching at their at their singed and scorched heads fall to the ground. Oh my god, what happened here? Okay, you keep saying uh rule twenty is being dumb right now. Let's reload the page. Okay. Alright, and I was gonna use the last forty feet of movement of the on the draft horse to okay. back the hell away. <laughs> <laughs> right, get Dorotha and the Rod away from those giants and the rocks. Yeah, uh, mainly for the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Right after okay, seeing what so, they did to Drake. Yeah. Okay. So the, the draft horse has about forty feet of movement and left. So should be from here to here. Okay. That being said, they got a really lucky roll. So. <laughs> right. Okay. So I guess right about here should be enough. Oh my god! I have to move everything with them. <laughs> Sorry, Amber. Daddy. I have to leave Ergala behind. Leave what? Ergala. Uh, Ergala. <laughs> yeah, Ergala's not worried. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right. Happily, is uh, Flinch still just chilling with you, Frederick? Uh, yeah. Uh, Flinch is currently panicking. <laughs> <laughs> As one does. As he saw two giant freaking boulders land near Drake or land on Dra or Drake, or is it two or one. one. Whatever it was, it hurt. Yeah, whatever it was, it hurt. So. Flinch is like, what the hell? <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll be my turn. Okay. Okay, so, um, there is these little 
They look almost look like halflings made of fire, running along and just gibbering and laughing and having the blast of blasts, the best of times, as they follow around their fire giant, their fire giant masters. These fire giants are just pointing at different structures, and these little guys just run up, give the building a big old hug, and set it on fire. And that is what they continue to do now. Several of them come running forward, rushing in front of the giants. Um, Ildmane, the giant, the um, the woman giant, she points up towards Huth's house, and four of these little guys just run up towards it. The rest of them make their way further into town. Using their full dash Which actions. House? Um, Huth's, the wizards. Okay. Four of them, actually, yes, Gilrin would definitely see four of them break off from the main group and start running up towards the manor. I think it's safe to say Huth would see that as well. All right, that is their turn, and that is going to bring us. Oh, we got two left up here, sorry about that. That is going to bring us to Drake. All right. Uh, let's see here. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, uh, I'm going to yell out to Narth uh, to come give us a bit of support up here by the house and use the house as cover. Uh, so he's going to start making his way there for now. Uh, leaving the barricade that he set up here for a moment. There we go. And then I... Somehow, I miraculously survived, and my horse somehow dodged too, which was super lucky. <laughs> um, we're going to... Let's see what's the range on this. There is one living orc in front of you there, Drake, just so you know. Yeah, I, I'm more worried about the, these things over here, so... Uh, da, da, da. Alright, so I'm probably going to be casting another fireball here. I just need to see uh, how many of those orcs I can hit. Uh, do you have the, uh, thing for fireballs? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you're trying to get the Orogs, right? Yeah, I'm trying to get as many of these, like, orcs as possible. Big, heavily armored guys. Mm-hmm. DC saves are the best things for them. Hmm. <laughs> That's your template. That's my template. So I can three hit three times. of yeah. them. Yeah. Um, these ones are already injured and we're almost dead. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll hit those three again, probably. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to hit those three. That's pretty decent damage. I don't think I need to empower that. No, I don't. You see in damage, 15 for 29, thank you. Oof, and that is three unfortunate successes, but I, that is enough to kill at least one of them, yep. 
So another fireball goes off, and this time you can see that they kind of brace themselves, hunkering down beneath their armor, doing as best they can to cover themselves as this ball of fire just rushes out, engulfing all three of them, slaying one. All right, I'll leave that be for now. Uh, what we're going to do is... Where is it? I don't want the horse to want me. <clears throat> Bonus action time. Alright, uh, we're going to uh, quickly grab into my uh, satchel. Uh, actually, that's probably going to be too much to take. Actually, no, yeah, I'm going to grab into my, into my satchel. Okay. Uh, I'm going to open the little pouch and grab two of the uh, black balls out of the pouch. So there's only eight in that pouch now. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to chuck them at this guy. Nice. <laughs> so it's 1d4 for each of them, right? Correct. Is it... Did we decide saving throw or attack roll on those? Uh, I don't think we ever discussed that. Okay. We just decided might, how much damage they do. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. Okay. I mean, if we're if I, if I'm throwing an item... It, Technically, just it only has to be near him or close enough to him. Or exactly. So right. we'll we'll call it a saving throw. We'll call it a dexterity saving throw. Um, sure. Yep. We will call it a dexterity saving throw against however many you throw at them, and we will put the DC at just the average of we'll call it fifteen. Cool. So it be three damage. And that'll be save versus half as well. So, Drake, how do you take your first victim with these little pepper balls that are not quite so pepper? <laughs> so after after I throw the fireball at them, I reach into the little pouch on my side, grab two of these little black balls, and just like flick them with my other hand at uh, the orc. And um, while while he's still burning a little bit, you know, just, just add a little bit more fire to it, just like you know, just just burn, just burn, and he just burns. Okay. And you used your bonus action to do this? Is there is there yes. a reason that you were able to do an object interaction as a bonus action? Uh, I th thought object interactions were bonus Object actions. interactions always an action. Um, we will allow it for the flavor on this one for the first time, especially since this thing has one hit point. So we'll go ahead and call it fine. <laughs> um, that's totally cool. But just for future reference, object interaction is a standard action. Okay, uh, now if I had already had it in my left hand, in, in my other hand, could I have done it? Unfortunately not. It's the same thing as drinking a potion, even if you've already got it in your hand. As soon as you take your action, it is your action to use the potion. Alright, cool. Or any other sort of object interaction. Alright, I will remember. Okay. Uh, after that, I'm, uh, I'm gonna get out of dodge, dash with the horse, get behind the cover here. Alright. Okay, so, that brings us to the Orogs up here. These heavily armored creatures look like, essentially, they, they look like giant orcs, just enormous orcs. Um, those of you familiar with the area would know that these are orc-ogre hybrids, and they are heavily armored, and they are now angry. So, as they come charging forward, you hear from behind them a loud, booming voice say, SPREAD OUT! TAKE COVER! Instead of just marching mindlessly into town as they were before, you see these huge brutes kind of look around, or, oh, or thinking, obviously not having thought of that even remotely on their own. They begin to make their way further into town. They will use their dash action to do so. Okay. Erdl is just waiting on these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he going? Is he going up toward the They have inside? instructions to take cover right now, so that is what they're doing. Okay. The implication that the giants are about to bowl down Main Street. Um. Well, having just taken two fireballs directly to the face, they they've realized that staying in groups oh. is probably not the greatest idea anymore. 
Fair or, enough. <laughs> you know, they haven't even realized that. Their giant overlords realized that and ordered them to spread out. Okay. And that brings us to the giant who is going to come stepping forward his 30 feet. But you see him kind of looking around, surveying the battlefield, and he turns back towards Ilgmane and speaks and says something that is unheard. The first time you've actually heard these creatures try to speak in a way that wouldn't just boom out over all of the town. And Ildmane nods, and you see him turn back, and he leans down and picks up a relatively small rock compared to the things that you've seen him doing. And he he's going to hold it, and you see him kind of moving his hands around on it in a weird way. And then you see him pull a little object out of his pocket, out of one of his bags. None of you are close enough to identify this object, but you can see that it glows faintly red. He shoves it into the rock. That's his turn. Hmm. Uh-oh. Does does the raw or the ooving uh, or how do you pronounce that goddamn word? Okay, uh Ufen. The rod. The rod. <laughs> the rod of Vonin, the rod of the Vonin Dodd. Vonin. I, I, even you say I can't pronounce it. Okay. <laughs> Big stick. <laughs> it doesn't react to it. It does not. It does not. Okay, so uh, that's a, l a good little panic away. Cool. Okay. Most, I think, I think orcs are dead. I think we can actually drop something from the initiative now. Um, Dandy and you guys, do you have any orcs? Any live orcs over there? I don't think we do. Uh, I think we just got the ogres. I think. The ogre in right. front of Dandy. Congratulations, guys. We can drop. We can drop one monster out of this initiative. <laughs> Is he squaring up with the wait, ogre? There may be, wait. wait, wait, there may be one left alive here at the corner of the... No, that, is a, that is an axe beak in the process of fleeing. Oh, okay. Wait, and why is that being said, that is what ogre? all of the axe beaks that are riderless are going to do on the ogre's initiative. They are just going to begin running for it. Guys, any context? <laughs> oh, he... He's, yeah, why is he's he... angry because... He's yeah. angry because that ogre... Got hit with that um, uh, frightened condition with that form of dread thing. Took off, so he, of course, interpreted it as, it is terrified of me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, it that's hilarious. It. Then it had the goal to shake it, come charging back, so he's just screaming in its face. Because all, to I, it. all I did... His character is E. <laughs> my, my, I, I, all I did was uh, uh, turn the map down, and I just see E with a freaking ogre. I'm like, what the hell is happening here? <laughs> He's squaring up with an ogre. <laughs> I get it. I literally was like, what the hell? There's just so much going on. Okay. I'm, just, I'm disappointed in Flinch. You're up. I'm, uh... Oh, I think I'm going to... Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Uh... Let's try to pop a few Eldritch Blast on this one down here. Oh, that's sick. Brevin and Horus, what are you guys concentrating on right now? Brevin is concentrating on flight. Okay. Uh, so he's going to I have a, I have two points of armor. Okay, yep, yep, yep. All right. Go ahead, Brevin. Um, uh, he's going to throw a couple of Eldritch Blasts at this over here in front of Dan. All right. Thank you. That certainly hits. Um, uh, now the hex is not on it, but... Oh, uh, yeah, it is. it's the top. It's the top number. 1d6x. Oh, no, it is not hex. I get you. I get you. Yeah, I'm already concentrating on something, so I can't use it. Okay. So, uh... And we'll try another shot. To Wait, one, one second. So that is still 17 points. So, Brevin, as you reach out, this arc of Eldritch energy just lances out towards this thing looming over Dandy, about to strike her once more. It strikes it strikes the ogre squarely just above the solar plexus, and he just, eyes goes wide. He stumbles back a few steps and falls back dead. Okay, um... Dandy looks at her hands. She's amazing. <laughs> uh, in that case, on my second shot, I am going to shift it over to this one that E's in front of, and uh, roll the 
roll that second one, which has a 21 to hit. 21 hits. Okay, so that'd be the four plus the four above for the agonizing blast. So that'd be eight points of damage. Uh, I will probably move myself just a little bit in case. And not much, just a little bit. Okay. And uh, now going to stars up here. Uh, on that, on is it possible to get the horse through this area right here on the north side where the little road goes through? Um, yes. Yeah, so wherever there's a road, we can assume the gates are open. Okay. So. That would have been about, I think, 35. Let's go check. And about 40, so... What is that? 80 total. That is. Okay. Yes, he does have a little sneak attack. <coughs> uh, so he's got four feet, and that is how. Bless you. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna go get just close enough. And I think that'll. Uh, I think that'll be close enough. Yeah, since E is there kind of uh, harassing it to try to do the little help action, he is going to use his little sling to try to hit it at. 15 hits. Okay, and since it is so six bludgeoning damage, and since E is an allied creature within five feet, he gets to do the sneak attack. Yes. So, do these sticks. Seven. Uh, are we just doing the average of seven, or are we rolling? Oh, you can roll the 2d6 if you prefer. That's fine. Five. A little bit less, but... All right. I figure it's more fair. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Dars comes riding up. Dars comes riding up and launches this sling at the ogre, who is marching straight for Dandy, and it just strikes him right in the side of the head really hard, almost staggers him. He's like, Arr! And then he turns towards Dars and just charges at him. Dars regrets all of his life choices. Now. <laughs> He's going to swing his great club at Dars with a 16 to hit. I am fairly sure that is going to hit him. Yep. For 10 bludgeoning. Okay, so... It's not dead, but it sure did not feel good. <laughs> All right. That is going to bring us to Horus. A lot of things happened in that turn that changed what Horus was going to do. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Yep. Horace is going to, to run up behind the ogre, giving Dandy next round some place to, to flank with. But within, within five feet of Dars, can I? Yeah, we're going to say that Dars is occupying the same spot as the riding horse right now. So wherever the riding horse is, Dars is. Yeah. Okay. So I'm within five feet of Dars. Yes. But I'm but Dandy can come up from the south and flank. Yep. And then let the uh, let's Oh. Here we go. Nice. How's that? Told the dead. Uh Dora's using offensive spells. 
It happens. <laughs> All right. So DC 14 wisdom save coming from a, from an ogre. Yeah, I don't like his chances. Yeah. He does right. get a six. And he's taken hit points, so the up version. So 2d12. 2d12. Nice oh. damage. Oh, that's great. Oh, 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 oh. That's, that's oh, major. Jesus. That is huge toll of dead damage. Yep. All right, then we've got Gelrin. That ogre must have been Oh, I totally forgot. Yep. Uh, <laughs> He's right up here. I know, my map was really small, so I could see where uh, Gelrin's going to yell to Hughes, uh, they're, they're attacking your house. He immediately <laughs> skids to a stop and turns around. But we knew they would be. Look, they're coming to set fire to it. I, I can't even find. I am. So I guess they're not going to regroup with us. <laughs> I guess he wants to protect his house. Makes sense. <laughs> well, I didn't intend on him, you know, helping us so much. Uh. Hey, two, to two of the ore logs off the field is not bad. Right. Um, so if it helps Gelrin's decision at all, it does look like Huth is going to come back. Okay, well, I'm going to stand to... I'm going to defend the house. I, I'm not sure how to do that. Just, uh... Intercept anyone that comes close, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Gelrin's flammable, though. <laughs> hey, stands over a forge all day. He's so okay. So, Huth is actually <laughs> going to call out to Gelrin. He's like, Wait! We'll go through the passageway! And he points into the house. So. Okay. So, if Gelrin well, would I guess like Gelrin to. Gelrin runs into the house. Alright. Or. I will. I will move into the house and then save my action to move whatever passageway uh, he opens. Got it. Okay. So, as soon as as soon as Huth can see that Gelrin isn't going anywhere, Huth is going to come running back towards the house. And he is going to burst into the room and you see him rush past um, rush past several valuable looking things and he runs straight into the parlor um where you guys were all sitting around and conversing with him and he is going to pick up that photo album and go running into another corner of the room and he throws aside a rug and there is a trap door under that rug and he says we're going in <laughs> okay all right and his trap door, does he have... You know what, we'll say that you guys have enough movement to go into the trap door. So when he opens it up, it just looks like a black pit. It looks like nothing at all, but he jumps into it. And just disappears inside. Jump in! You guys remember that door that you were thinking about busting down in the other building? Yep. Mm -hmm. You guys magically appear just outside of it. Man! useful. So you guys are down here now. Um, has any of you ever watched uh, the, the one show King of the Hill? Oh, yeah. Yep. I imagine him as Dale Gribble. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> please, please, please say he has like a bunch of like rat tunnels that explode underneath the entire tank. He 100% <laughs> he has pockets full of sand. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Out of, out of uh, spells. No problem. Pocket sand. <laughs> I actually had a P I actually had a PC in one of my games a while ago that legitimately carried around a bag of sand just to throw at people's faces during combat. <laughs> hey, a chance to buy them. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, okay, it's like it's so that is sleep. Boris and Huth bringing us to Dandy. All right. Uh, Ergola is going to. Um. Hop the fence and uh, 
use the house kind of as... Ah, hold on. I'm in arrow mode and not move mode. Sorry. She just wants to get closer to the fighting. She doesn't like being back here anymore. Okay. Um, I don't think she can... I don't think there's anything she can shoot at at the moment. Hold on. Not, Not through a house. Guys within no. range of her at the moment. No. Can she shoot it over the house at disadvantage? <laughs> What's the range? So you would like to lob it up and over the house. Like a hail mary shot. Are you, are you like trying up to? Up and over. Are you trying to hit that yeah. axe beat? Because it is riderless now. It is. It is simply. Sorry, I was muted. Um, so you would like to throw your axe up and over the house. Uh, arrow, arrow. An arrow. Shoot it over the. Okay. Yeah. Um, just so you, just so you are informed, that is a riderless axe beat right there. Oh, I thought it was a, 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 a orc look. No, his his rider is dead. That is a riderless axe beat, and it is right, in the process. Okay, <laughs> okay, right, um, when you're looking through I'm... a house, they look the same. The axe beak or the ogre? <laughs> then, since I can't really shoot at anything, I'm just going to dash and use this house for cover for now. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, Dandy. And then Dandy. Yes. Uh, yeah, I can do so for you. You just need the stuff at your house, babe. Let's see. Dandy is going to. Oh. Yeah, I can. Uh, move up here and hit this sucker with an axe. Got it. Okay. Yeah, I'll run down there and do it. You yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought I thought I thought Brevin was trying to say something. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't mind. All right. <laughs> uh, um. Okay. So she's gonna hit it with an axe. She's raging. She's slashing. No, I'm uh. How much? And she's food? going to is that kill it or is it still going? 19 for 13 slashing and the <laughs> and the 15 there okay he is still standing i'm gonna hit him again all right the, funsies. the upswing and the downswing 19 hits and how do you take him down um i swung down with the first hit and this one i swing up and it just right in the chin just bam fantastic all right okay and i hope oh. he doesn't fall on horse sorry 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 do you have any movement left? Um, yeah, I didn't have to go very far. You you do run. You do have a forty foot move. Well, well, I guess you attacked. So forty. Is there anywhere you would what like to go, talking? Dandy? Oh yeah. All of those axe beaks uh, are in the process of fleeing right now. So I'll okay. see what comes up and, and go from there. I am going to, if I can find myself, uh, to start heading. Yeah. Is anyone on that horse? It's Dars, right? It might take him yes, that while. is Dars right there. Yeah. <laughs> knock right. him off and take his horse. <laughs> I'm not gonna knock him off and take his horse. Um, Lift the horse me, and throw him off. Listen, is it <laughs> is uh, my Radiant Soul a bonus? I can't remember. I believe Radiant Soul is a bonus action. Pop in my wings. I'm gonna go punch him. Let's double check that real thing. quick. Radiant Soul. I'm sorry. I could have just looked too. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> nope, it's an action. It's an action. Okay. Okay. Then yeah, I'm just going to like jog this away. Okay. And Silrin, welcome to the fight. <laughs> Hello. Uh, quick question: Pepperball packets, damage type? Uh, force. Force. All right. Uh, I see that our friend Frederick is running south with the Vonadod. Uh, Drake's hurt here, but what is Drake doing here? Drake, what are you up to over there? Drake's basically just going in and out of cover, sniping people at the moment. Okay. <laughs> until, they, until they get closer. Uh... So, Silrin and um, good old Othavir is going to head for the tower, thinking that's what people are going to do. Well, at least with the civilian populace. Um, uh, how most, far of the civilian, most of the civilian populace has already fled the town. They immediately began fleeing southward once some um, shit hit the fan. Right, okay. 
Uh, I think that's probably the best thing to do is just follow Frederick. How far are horses? Forty feet. Um, your riding horses actually have lo- actually have, I believe, sixty feet, meaning you have a max movement of one hundred and twenty feet while mounted. One hundred yeah. feet. It's hundred feet for a horse riding horse. A uh, hundred feet. Yeah, and it was. I think it was. I think it was sixty for the draft horse. Uh, other way around. 40, um, it's six. Feet it's sixty horse. feet. The riding. Am I muted again? The yeah. right. The riding horses are sixty feet, which means a dash on them is one hundred and twenty feet. The draft horses have less. Okay. The draft horses have forty feet with a dash of eighty. All right. Cool. Uh, yeah. So they're they're gonna get there and then they're gonna chase after Frederick. Um. As they're as they're passing by Frederick, I think Sword's gonna scream over, "You still got your pepper packet?" And uh, all I do is look at, uh, look at Silver and, and just give a wink <laughs> with a smile. Can I get it? <laughs> yes, I have them. I still have them. Yeah, can I have it? Oh, <laughs> why did you get it? Um. Can I throw them as an action, or...? Um, you guys can hand them off to one another. <laughs> you guys can hand them off to one another as you pass oh. by. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, don't throw yeah. them. <laughs> don't throw them it's like, all right, Silver, make a check save. <laughs> oh, <perfect. laughs> we want to do a friendly toss DM. No, you're going for a full pitch. <laughs> I've had a half dozen campaigns end like that. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the guy who earlier called Dandy dumb. Just oh, <laughs> Okay, All um, right. Yeah, you guys can pass them off to each other as you ride as you ride past. That's we, not have, an issue. we have ten, we have ten each, right? Yes. Uh, I get five to Silren. Oh, I'm at twenty five. Uh, as he's uh, continuing on, he's also going to uh, use his action to cast uh, his army of one, which is his mirror image spell. Yeah. Uh, and I believe for Ulthavir, Ulthavir is, I don't know if he did this already, but he's going to cast Mage Armor on himself, if he hasn't. He has not taken any full, any actions yet, except for running to where he was. Right, okay, so he's Mage Armored up. Awesome. I didn't realize Ulthavir was a caster. I didn't either. Cool. Oh, yeah, he's a sorcerer. He's a sorcerer with rapier skills. It's amazing. I was like, nobody took Ulthavir? Okay. Wow, look at he's actually got decent spells too. Let's look at that. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right. Sleep, sleeping on our leather man. <laughs> okay. All right, Soren. So, as you rush past Frederick, gathering up some more of those black powder balls as you go, the giants to the north continue their slow progress. They. And you see Ilgmaiden, those of you that can see her, she is very coldly surveying this battlefield as she moves forward. Just out in front of Uxort. And you see her also reach down and pick up a relatively small boulder. A relatively small rock, no bigger than a, no bigger than an average size bowling ball. And you see her reach down into her into one of her packs and come out with another red glowing stone. And she jams that down and into the boulder. That's her turn. I know it's like a broken record, but does the rod react? It does not. Okay. E! <laughs> oh, one second. You're muted. Uh... All right, go ahead, E. Deeply satisfied that his presence obviously resulted in the death of all of these enemies. <laughs> he has elected to just simply fly up here to the house. Do you guys ever decide uh, on a group name? It has to have something to do with you. Cream, is he? And just preen as he stares at the chaos all about. Okay. All right. He knows once these big ones get near, he will, of course, strike them with the fury of a wrathful god. <laughs> all 
All right. I believe uh, preening men menacingly is an action, so we'll go ahead and move on to Frederick. <laughs> Crimson, you're muted. I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> Thank you for telling me that. <laughs> um, so, Ren, uh, what are you going to try? What are your plans with the black balls? I, I'm going to get all of them for a suicide run at one of these giants. Ah, okay, cool. Uh, Shock so, uh, and awe. <laughs> Go off of the bang. I understand. Gurgalow likes you. Because you're going... Oh, wow. Okay, so if I do a full dash with the horse, is that considered both our actions? Uh, no, the horse The horse has its own set of actions, so its dash does not Perfect. affect you at all. Perfect. So I'm going to try to... Let me see if I can move. Right up... Uh, okay. This is down this hall. Or down this road. Move all the way down as much as I... Why is not the group moving? There we go. Yeah, grouping tokens in roll 20 is awful. It, be it very <laughs> rarely works as intended. Right. So I'm going <laughs> to move down here. And I'm going to hand five of those, uh, the, the last five of my balls <laughs> to Doratha. And because okay. she has a crossbow. And I want her tired. Uh, I ask her. These things explode on impact. Just a heads up, uh, our 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 great dandy was eating these earlier. We found out they explode. And tr would you be able to tie these to your bolts? She can. We'll say that it will be... We'll say two bolts per action spent to do so. Okay. So for, for now, she's in the, the town center. I'm going to leave her here and try to rejoin the battle with Drake. So, that will be my turn. Okay. So, Dorotha, we, which we hear is just starting to cover. She will, can Dorotha move uh, after the horse movement? Um, yes. The horse's movement does not use any NPC or player's movement. Okay, so... These fences, they count as um, cover? You guys, you guys can get over them relatively easily. The horses can't oh. jump them, but you guys can climb over them. Perfect. But do, these, do they count as cover, though? If you uh, yeah, right half cover if you're behind them. One. Perfect. Okay, so. So. Let's see. I'll use her dash as well to get over it. Okay. Draw the dash right about here. Would that consider cover? Half cover? I thought you were about to have Dorotha go like hide in the tower or something. I'm like, I'm going to be like, no. <laughs> but absolutely. Well, taking think, cover and preparing she... is definitely, definitely a Dorotha thing. Yeah, okay. I don't think she will run further away right i just want i just need to get distance from the meat from the boulders right uh, uh all right that'll, that'll be my turn I, okay. I'm, I'm not getting off the horse yet and flinch still hanging out with you uh, i'm gonna actually tell flinch to follow Jaratha and okay. keep, cool. keep her cover cool see right. uh i will have flinch like hovering over like not like landing next to her but like staying in the air just to survey anything that's coming near <laughs> And basically, act like a little freak and start screaming in the air if anything starts coming at her. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that'll be the turn. Nice. Okay. That brings us back to the little magmins, the little, the little, the little tiny fire people, and they, several of them, are going to rush over towards um, Huth's house. Not quite get there. A couple of them do get there. They did have to use their dash action to get there, though. Um, this one over here is going to give this house a big old hug and set it on fire. Others. running further into town, as are these two. They are behind that house. That is all of them. Okay, Drake, you're up. Drake, you there? Yeah, uh, okay. so I believe this one has like one or two HP left, so yeah, I'm just gonna, uh, sneak out over here, 
and snipe him with a firebolt, which I believe is in range. Uh, no, it's not. I had to get him closer. Hmm. How close do I have to be? That close. Okay. So we go here, and we'll snipe him with a firebolt. I'll be right back, guys. You're good. You got it. You've got yep. some time. <laughs> you can stay where you want under cover and hold the firebolt to hit him. Uh, I, 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 I'm technically behind. Well, I mean, uh, I can just outrange him right now, so. Yeah, definitely out of range. Okay. Right. Hope for 24 hits. 24 certainly hits. It's <laughs> 11 fire damage for this guy. Alright. He goes up in flames. He's down. Alright. And I'm just gonna run back behind cover here. So no one can hit me. And that's it for me. And then actually no, that's not it for me. I'm gonna use my bonus action to use up my five sources of points and infuse myself with power and to get a third level spell slot back. Nice. I I have a question. Uh -huh. Are the axe beaks rideable for us? I mean they're in the process of running away. So if you can coax one back to you, then absolutely. Noted. Alright, Narth is gonna catch up with Ursula and be like, uh, is there, is there anything I can do to help? I'll, I'll help you any way I can. Okay. And that'll be Narth's turn. Alright, so Narth comes running up from behind Urgula, ready and eager to provide any assistance that he can, and that is going to bring us back to the Orogs. There's only three of them left. You guys took out? One, two, three, four. Alrighty, good stuff. Okay. And that is going to bring us back to Oxsort. The boulder in hand. You can see as he approaches, there's like this faint red light shimmering up and out of it as the fire giant approaches. He's going to move his 30 feet. And he rears back and heaves this rock hard right towards you all. He has the max range of 240 feet on those at disadvantage. So he is going to heave it at this general direction here. And who is the unlucky person right there? Ah. That's Nandar. Nandar? Yep, that is who is having a rock hucked in their general direction at the moment. It is at disadvantage, though. Let's see how it does. At disadvantage, it is a 20 to hit. Oh, yeah, that still hits Nandar. Can the horse dodge? Doesn't he have uh, uh, tr triple illusions up? That's just so Oh, uh, so Oh, okay. Right. That is 14 bludgeoning damage. It is a smaller rock than the other ones that have been thrown. Nandar is up! Nice. Two points! So the rock crashes into him, and out comes this... It kind of breaks into many pieces, and you see this little stone, a little red gemstone, roll out of it, and it stops on the ground right in front of your guys' horses, right on the ground there next to you. And as soon as the stone rolls to a stop, see it beginning to vibrate and tremble and then burst and as the flames burst out you see them begin to take form and shape into something the fire comes to life looks around hungrily and we have now a fire elemental entering the initiative Oh, a fire elemental. Jeez. And he 
gets an 8 on his initiative. So he is in there. And that is Oxford's turn. Revan, you're up. Uh, seeing this elemental, I am going to... I'm going to start events by uh, shooting this thing a couple of times. As one does. <laughs> 17 hits. Okay, so... Eight damage on the first attack. And is roll 20 running, running super slow for anyone else? No, but your music keeps okay. cutting out. Okay. And... 13 damage on the second, assuming a 17 and a 26 hit it. 17 and 26 both hit. Okay, first one, 8 damage, and the second one, 13. All right, nice, 21 damage. And uh, I'm going to use my movement to... Uh... And that was at the fire elemental, right? Yeah. I'm moving up a little bit with my movement just so I can start getting in range of these other enemies since we've kind of cleaned up stuff down here. Of course, and, I just got uh, back. There's a fire elements on the map now? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you remember those those yeah. rocks that the fire giants were jamming those little red crystals into? Uh-huh. Well, they hucked one. It hit Nandar. It hit Othavir, unfortunately. Uh, he is still up, but barely. And as the rock hit him, it kind of burst into little pieces and outrolled that little gem, which then turned into this fire elemental. Ah, interesting. Fun. All right, Brevin, anything else? Uh, I think that's sure. it for me, but I got to do some right. measuring. I did move a little bit. Let me do some measuring right quick. Do you guys hear a uh, barking uh, in the background? I hear no barking. Okay, good. My dogs are freaking out right now. Let's put him right here since that ogre's dead. And let me check range. And it may be a disadvantage, but I'm still going. It might be a disadvantage, but he will still chuck a stone at it at least. He has no real des Doris here has no real desire to get close enough to stab the thing whenever it is made out of fire. Okay. So we're just gonna get close enough and hunk a rock at it. <laughs> Sounds good. Twenty-three hits. Five bludgeoning. Uh, and there are allies within five feet of it. So I can still hit it with the two D six for sneak attack. Uh, oh, Narth's no. attacks are not magical. No, they're not. But every little bit helps. Indeed. Particularly before the thing gets a chance to move. Uh, does non-magical damage get halved? It does. Okay. So you see, you see, um, Dars's sling, the 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 rock, the the ball bearing that's thrown from it goes into the fire elemental, but passes mostly through it, only slowing on its passage through. It does take reduced damage from non-magical attacks. Right. Revan, all set? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I did my action, I moved, and, uh... Ours is good. Okay, that is going to bring us to Horus, as the ogres in the conflict are dead. Okay, Horus is going to move his 30, his 30 feet to there, and then toll the dead on the... On the fire line? Burning. Yes. Where is... DC 14 save. It gets a 5. Okay. No magic resistance for this thing. Okay, good stuff. Oof. And I get a five also. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the last one was a 22. I mean, come on. Yeah, so... I hit for some damage. 
Oh, I have to move. Uh, so Gelrin and Hugh. Yep, you got it. <laughs> uh, Such a weird name. Move, move out of the house. Fifty okay. feet. Hugh is right behind you. It's his turn. It's running into. Youth is okay. right behind you. That's all we can do. And that brings us to Dandy. All right. Um, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Can Ergola move through the house? Yes, I've been allowing. I've been allowing NPCs and stuff to do it. So yeah, Ergola can. Okay. Uh. Yeah, she's gonna. Oh, let me move. I actually get to the movie thing. Move through the house and uh, await her next turn so she can take pot shots at these uh, things and still be in cover. Awesome. So, a yeah, so we'll say Urgula North would be sitting there and Urgula would just smash down a window and do a, just like a full on just dive into the window and then <laughs> up on the other side and go rushing through the house. DIA tactical roll. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, dandelion is going to pop her wings because now there's something new to fight. And uh, let me see how far she can go real quick. Uh, she's going to use her dash action to actually get over there. And then... Is popping the wings in action? It is. Yes. And there is no dash. Oh, right, 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 right. So then just the 30 feet. Please and thank you. And if you don't attack something, you lose your rage. Okay, so... There's a horse. Sorry. Just punch it. I'm not going to punch the horse. Throw something. I'm going to dabble in at the, uh, the elemental All at disadvantage, right. please. Got it. Darls has two hit points. I think you can take him. <laughs> 14 hits. All right. So six piercing. Halved down to three. Okay. All right. Good stuff, guys. We are burning through the initiative, so the uh, so the roll, the uh, turns, the rounds should start going a bit quicker now that we have so few, so many less enemies on the field now. But that does bring us to Sorin. Um, Sorin can see Horus, Dandy, and. Uh, Brevin right here. Would they be able to pass me their packets through the fence? Um, yeah, if you can get but, close enough. You'll have to go within five okay. feet, but yes. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, he's gonna, he's gonna take the opportunity attack from the, uh, elemental and ride closer it and says, reaches nah, I'm gonna out do and stupid. tries to grab a hold of you as you pass. It is a 15 to hit. That misses. Awesome. Uh, I need all the pepper packets I can have. Uh, and uh, while he's waiting there, he's going to cast a second spell as his action and cast Stage Presence on himself. Oh, cool. Nice. Wow. Okay. Cool. Um, so I am as big as the horse. It's back up. Okay, are you are you still riding this poor animal? Yeah, yes. I was say. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Because they can run faster than I can. So I am always riding this horse. Uh, and I will wait for them to either give me uh, packets or tell me to fuck off whatever they want to do. <laughs> uh, and with the remainder of the movement, uh, he'll take back off towards the fire giants. Okay, so I am I am going to rule that in your enlarged state, the horse does lose its dash action. Right, but... Okay, so it's only 60 feet. Right. Still better Got than it. your standard movement. Yes. Did you ask uh, for any from Dandy? I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, he'll he'll shout at all of you. I know Horace is a little far, and Brevin's flying uh, above, but I think he's close enough to you. Yeah, I'll pass five over to Brevin to hand to you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is going to be a big boom. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> this is gonna be great. This is um, gonna be great. <laughs> uh, and then Othavir on his turn will actually use his action to disengage okay. and ha have his horse run. Got it. Uh, and he's just gonna like swing around, uh, where f uh, pretty much out of like as out of line of sight as much as he can from the big rock. Big rock hurts. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Big rocks. De big rocks definitely hurt. Drake learned that lesson the hard way as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I still bruised my cheek on that one. Oh man. <laughs> All right, Soren. Uh, that that's it for Ultavir and Soren. Right. The fire elemental is going to approach the closest enemy to it, which is either Dorothra or Silrin. It's Dorothra. Sure. So it is going to just loom up as tall as its form will allow and just start snaking its way towards Dorothra. It burns its way through the fence. Flinch screams. <laughs> <laughs> And no, he it does a reach out and try to grasp a hold of Dorothra. And that is a 21 and a 19 to hit Dorothra. Oh. Let, let me check Dorothra's uh, sheet real fast. Yeah. Let me just check real fast. And, you know. Oh, that's a hit. 14, yeah. Oh, that's a, that's a hit for both. Is 14. So she does yeah. take 11. She does take 23 fire damage. Okay. You know, just a flesh wound. And she is on fire. Just a flesh wound. <laughs> okay, so for those of you that aren't familiar with how being on fire works in D&D, there is an actual mechanic for this. Um, so until a creature takes an action to douse the fire or another creature takes an action for her to douse the fire, she does take 1d10 fire damage at the start of each of her turns. Did anybody Eric? bring a bottle of water? Has anyone ever watched Monty Python? <laughs> right everybody that does bring us to Ildmain and as you saw she was doing as Oxort was doing and was preparing a small boulder with a little red gem she is going to move her 30 feet forward getting her just out in front of Oxort once again and then she is going to hurl that boulder mm. oh I think Darothra might be the only good target again <laughs> we'll see Oh, Silrin is technically closer. Cool. I like it. Silrin! Yes. <laughs> Here comes a rock. He, he has a bomb! Oh my god, it's a crit. Oh! oh. It is reduced yeah. damage because these are the smaller rocks and they're standard rocks, but it is still... A double crit? 33... Where was the first crit? Uh, uh, disadvantage for range. Oh, thank you for reminding me, guys. It is not a crit. It is only a 29 oh. to hit. Oh my god. <laughs> I, saw, I, saw the, I saw the green number and got excited. My bad, guys. It is only a 29. Oh which my is god. It's still the objectively bad, my... but not as bad. The deal was oh. uh, TPK the whole right. fucking party. So, <laughs> I'm so... sorry. Once again, who has the mirror image? <laughs> Silrin does. Uh, well, yeah, then still... he hits a mirror image. Four? It still, it still hits with the four? Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> it, it, you know... It's not 33 damage, it is only 20, so that's... That's a lot less than what I got. <laughs> <laughs> so it is 20 bludgeoning damage you take, Silrin. And as this Ow. bowling ball-sized chunk of rock crashes into you, it disintegrates, and out of it rolls this little red gem, and it comes to a stop right near where you guys are standing. That's Old Main's turn. Is E is does E see it fit to interject his expert skills into the situation yet? <laughs> uh, he might. Um, uh, can he pick up the gem? Um, the gem turned into the fire elemental. Oh, it already did. Okay. Yes. Well, he will at least. That would have been freaking hilarious. Oh god. <laughs> Oh, he's at least. I don't think he can. I don't think he can make it quite over here. But he's at least going to start getting closer. Then he'll start pestering one of these things to do the help action. Okay. All right, everybody. So, 
It is half past the hour. We are going to go ahead and take our break. And when we come back, we'll be back at the top of the initiative with Frederick. Good stuff. All right, Frederick. The sure fire point. giants have introduced some new friends for you all to be introduced to. So what would you like to do? Okay. I'm, yeah. I'm back. Awesome. So, originally my plan was to go, uh, turn the corner and follow through to the fire giants and attempt to do some damage, but now, seeing these things are here, I'm going to try to... Oh, come on! I grab both of them! <laughs> I'm trying to grab Frederick and the horse. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now we're, now we're cooking. And... I'm, I'm going to use the horse's spaces to Frederick. Is that cool? Yeah, it's fine. Because I'm, I'm on... Okay, cool. So, can I hit both from this angle? Yes, I can. Awesome. I cast lightning bolts on both those... The direction of both those uh, fire, uh, fire elementals. Nice. So... This one's better. <laughs> okay. So, DC and damage, please. DC 15 for 28. Good stuff. That's some good damage. I don't imagine both these guys are very dexterous, so... We shall soon find out. One success, one failure. Oof, okay. <laughs> All right. So, this bolt of lightning just arcs out from Frederick, spearing straight through these two fire elementals. Um, their form dissipates for a brief moment before re-solidifying into this ball of walking humanoid fire. Can you... Huh. Okay. So that's my tr my turn. I, I as I try right upwards, I just turn and point the wand towards them and just release that streak. Dorotha, imagine having her um, imagine her being experienced. Uh, she she immediately ducks. Can she take a disengage? Or oh, yeah, she can take all the same actions that you guys can, so she can take a disengage. Yeah, sure. Right. So, would that cost her her action for um, rolling? Uh, disengage would cost her her action, yes. Okay, so I'll take 1d10 damage, which she said 1d10 damage would be in her turn, right? Uh, yes, because she is on fire. Stop, drop, and roll. That's a six, okay. Dorotha, right on the spot, just starts ducking and starts rolling to get the fi fire off for her immediately. Uh, so I is she taking the disengage off. action or is she putting the fire no, out? No, I, I'd rather put the fire out immediately. Okay. okay, so yeah, so she does not take that damage. Oh, she doesn't? Okay, cool. If she if she takes cool. the time to put the fire out, she does not take the damage. Cool, because I cannot select her off of anything. <laughs> it's very perfect. There we go. You know now what? I'm sorry. I'm reading I'm reading the ability again, and she does take the damage at the beginning of her turn. Cool. Okay, so so she does now. take the damage, but in order to not take it next turn, she uses her action to put it out. Yeah, she's at 19, and... Yeah, uh, she... I think that's good. Uh, if she moves, it, it activates opportunity attack, right? It would. I'm taking it. Yeah, that's probably the best, because either way, it's going to come at her with yeah. two attacks next time if she doesn't. Exactly, so. All right, so it reaches out its fiery hand towards her while she tries her best to escape, and it is double nat ones. Beautiful. Okay, awesome. Took that roll. Okay, she moves the hell away from that thing. <laughs> and she can't attack. She moves. All right. She can't dash either, right? Because that, uh, that was the reaction. Okay. Correct. Uh, that'll be... That'd be the end. That'd be the end of my turn. And Flitch. So, so the closest one to the giants usually gets targeted. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so she probably win. wants to move south. Oh, the thing is, like, I'd rather okay. between me and that. Yeah, I, I got you. I got you, though. And I already moved it. Uh, Flitch, on the other hand. If you'd like to send Dorothra south, you could. If you'd like. Good. 
Well, would it, would it trigger the, I, I was worried it would trigger the other it, ones. Uh, she wouldn't be in range of it. She'd be able to move around okay. to avoid the second five, opportunity attack. 15, 20, 25, 30. All right, back her up this much. Okay. And Flitch, can she, can Flitch give the help action on these things or no? Uh, Flitch can give the help action, yeah. Okay, so, uh, does E have, uh, is E on this one yet? I think E uh, is still on his e way is. to the fight. Yeah. Okay, so Flinch is going to go for the one that's straight into the one that's like surrounded by everything. Okay. So I'm going to put the money in the corner, and he, I'm going to try to give him the help actions for the next attacks to come at him. All right, sounds good. All right. Brings us to the little magma boys. And... <laughs> Gelrin and Huth, as they come out from around the side of the building, they would see these little magmans just completely surround the estate, and it goes up in flames. Huth does not seem upset, but he does clutch that album of pictures closer to his chest as he runs. Aww. <laughs> Sorry, I've got a, I've got a set huge house on fire. The music messing up again for you guys? No, it's been great. Depending on how fast we deal with them, we could potentially put the put the it's fire. It's messing zone. up for me. Yeah, for me too. Messing up here. Okay. Oh yeah, there it goes. <laughs> yeah, I just turned it off because it was skipping on my end, which means it would be skipping <laughs> on the uh, on the OBS recording too. So turn it off for now. All right. So the other magma, the other magmites that are not currently setting buildings on fire are going to rush towards you guys. Oh, wow. Who are of course going to rush up inside this building late. Roll twenty is running very slowly for me tonight. Actually, you know what? We're gonna just keep on brand for these guys. Two of them would have branched off to set houses on fire. Including the one Urgla is inside. She's on the other end, it's fine. She is. It'll take some time to get to her. She's not worried. Uh, Narth might want to be. You know what it is? I, I bet I know what it is that's causing it to slow down. All of my little balls of fire are animated. Oh, they are, yeah. Ooh. Oh, I never noticed that. Ooh. Fire is replaced with X's. <laughs> right, I have I have non-animated fire. I just wanted to be fancy. Um, mm -hmm. I didn't okay. even notice the animations. Wow. Yeah, yeah. The map is so huge that unless they're happening right on top of you, you don't notice. But I had a lot of different animated effects happening that no one could see. So I'm just gonna turn those off and see if that fixes the problem we were having with the music. Right. All right. That does bring us to Drake, though. All right, let's see here. Can I get an angle that will hit just the fire elementals? First of all, do I have the movement for it? Of course I do. Okay. Of course I'll be stuck there and mercy the giants, which I'm not crazy about. Uh, so I'm trying to use binding ice right now on these guys. Um. Okay. Oh, I left one behind. Ah, <sighs> I get a boulder thrown at me now. Hmm, I can't afford to take another boulder hit. That might just be something I can't do right now. Okay. And instead of worrying about that right now, because giants, I'm going to go to here. And I'm going to shoot this guy. Firebolt. Do 
22 to hit for 8. 22 hits. And we were shooting at one of these little guys? Nope, uh, the big orc guy. You got it. 8. Alright, he is looking really rough. Hmm. Uh, I think that's all I can do for me, so I'm just going to... Does that give me cover from the giant still? Uh, barely gives me cover with this house here. Okay, we'll do that. Right here. And that'll be my turn. And Narf, uh, seeing that these little guys are starting to put stuff on fire, he's going to take action. He's going to try and start shooting these guys. He's going to start with this one here. Uh, so with one hand, he's going to shoot it with his hand crossbow. And with missing horribly. <laughs> uh, and then he's going to run up to it and hit it with his sword. Oof. He tried. Yeah. he, he He's trying. He's failing, but he's trying. And he's going to run back behind the cover over here. That'd be his turn. So as North runs up to that little thing, it turns towards him and just begins laughing like a deranged little child. And as North goes around the corner, you hear it shrieks something in an unintelligible language that almost sounds like, where are you going? <laughs> All right. <Hit> run tactics. <laughs> All right. That brings us to Oxsort, who for the, who you guys see, he is taking a look around and he, they are beginning to realize the likelihood that they may not succeed, so they are going to start running. Ah, they want to join the fight. <laughs> I'm trying to turn the tides. <laughs> that is Oaks, that is Oxort, and that is going to bring us to the Orogs, of which there are three left. First one is going to come charging in. anyone's within range of their javelins just yet. Actually, never mind. You guys are at disadvantage, so. Well, maybe not. <laughs> just arrows everywhere. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Is there someone on this horse? I am. One that has the red arrow pointing at it right here? Yep, that's, that's my horse. Okay, uh, you have a javelin coming your way. Can you take your bomb away from us? <laughs> I, don't think it's, I don't think it's quite enough. That's why I was still waiting for people to like be like, okay, here, here's half my, my pepper bolt one and two. It is only a 12 to hit you, Silrin. Okay, yeah, that misses. <laughs> if Silrin is tapped, we're all dead. <laughs> He's a TPK uh. waiting to happen. <laughs> Uh, can Urgula make a, is Urgula going to try to hide from these two Orogs that are coming around the corner? Or is she just hanging I'm out? Really the gonna fight him. She's going to fight him. Okay. So these two Orogs turn the corner, and what does Urgula do as they turn the corner and lock eyes onto her? Um, middle finger? Pointer arrows? Uh, any of the above? Both? Fantastic. Both of those things. Uh, she has two javelins coming her way. Three quarters cover? Three quarters cover inside of a building, hanging out a window. They are just out of range. So they will both have disadvantage. Nina, Nina, Nina. <laughs> <laughs> All right. At disadvantage, it is a fourteen and a four, two fourteens. Uh, I'm almost positive. Positive, yes. Hold on. Okay. Yes. With plus five AC. Oh. My AC is twelve. 
Um, so three quarters cover gives you five, gives you plus five bonus to your AC. It was a seventeen. Fantastic. They both miss. The javelins thud into the sides of the building on either side of the window. Thank you. Brevin, you're up. Okay, I'm a uh... first priority. I'm a. Uh... See if I can actually click on myself through all this mess. Uh, I'm going to continue attacking the one the elemental odd started attacking earlier. I'm assuming a 23 hit. Oh, yes. For eight damage. And which one is that that you're hitting right now? Uh, the one that I had started attacking earlier the first one got it just because it has already taken the most damage so just trying to keep on hammering on it okay uh there's a 13 hit on the second shot 13 just hits okay so that'd be 10 plus 4 so 14 with that one. Oh, our second uh, fire elemental never rolled initiative okay all right so um, he uh, takes those both hit. So all of that damage, so 15, 19, 29 damage to him. Good stuff. And uh, getting over to... Wait, which one was oh, the attack? That one? Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Charles, like... uh... Charles being... Ungodly close to this one here. Hmm. So I'll just take a quick step up with the horse. And he's got allies within five feet, so he's going to take a swing with the short sword at it. Uh, just 21 hit, I'm guessing. He's taking a swing at the second fire elemental because it's closer to him. With and... advantage, I think, because that's a help action. Yep. Yep. So, four plus eight divided by two. So, six damage, wow. and uh, I think that'll be his action right there. And, uh,. At least one of those things was going to go down. But oh well. <laughs> I think that's all I have at the moment. Okay. Alrighty, Boris, you're up. Okay. So, uh, Gelrin and Hugh are going to move 50, 50 feet closer okay. behind the, the house. For cover then horace i'm going to come running in is there space between this horse and the fire elemental is there a, a five foot square in there where at uh between the horse and the fire elemental yeah we'll see the fire elemental right there i can't get into the right so so i can move Just my move the horse to, and move the horse so it looks a little easier i'm gonna get right in that fire elemental space and I'm going to bang my shield and go up against him and, and, and say, you're not as hot as a, as, as a forge and nice. I'm going to dodge. Okay. So, Hugh Psychic. looks down towards Gelrin and he says, I think it's time to get into this fight. And he reaches out and he casts haste on Gelrin. Oh my. Well, then we could have gone, uh... Yeah, his turn is technically after yours, though, so I had to wait. An, an extra... <laughs> <laughs> okay. And imagine casting enlarge on him also. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's still only 30 hit points. Yeah, he's still not very strong, but at least he can start really contributing to the fight now. Imagine casting haste or enlarge on a dwarf, and he's just normal-sized human at that point. Oh, no. 
<laughs> right. <laughs> Dandy, you're up. Oh, it's me. Okay, cool. Um, so, Ergola, uh, now that they've opened, broken the window for her to uh, aim out of, she's going to. Mm, let's see here. She's going to uh, take a shot with her crossbow. Okay. On this homie right here. Okay. Uh. So he took two damage, blah. And she's going to put another one in him just for funsies. Okay. The 16 hit. 16. 16 does, oh, I'm sorry. 16 does not hit the Orogs. 20 does, though. All right. All right. And just the two damage and lots of swearing. Okay. <laughs> All right. Is she allowed to move or is that? Oh, yeah, she can move. Okay. Uh, Thirty she's feet. Going to come out the window with another CA tactical roll and come around the side. Okay. Out of the giant's range, but still in range of the Ulrogs, so she Got can. It. There is, in fact, a building. Well, not quite yet, but yeah, she's not in a great spot. But is what it is. Eh. Let's go ahead and have her right there, and we'll say she managed to get around to the other side of the building. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay, so... Just one moment. I just did a whole bunch of potential fixes for the music during that. I want to see if... So, and I believe it is your turn up next. Uh, just Dandelion real quick. Um, Dandy is going to... Let's see how far that is. Oh, sorry, Danny. Yep, you're good. It's all right. Uh, come up to the fire elemental. And throw it. Around the far side, so you're flanking someone. Like, down? So a loop around him, a J. Yeah. Okay. Um, And she's going to... Use her storm aura as a, as a bonus action and javelin. Does a sixteen hit this guy? Or the yeah, fire elemental, correct? Right? Yeah, sixteen does hit. magic. Huh? Nothing. You stress me out, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then my d six for the storm aura. And then javelin. Okay. Um, any ranged attack that you take right now would have disadvantage because there is an out. There is an enemy within five feet of you. Just so you know. Okay. So sixteen but actually, again. Those still both hit though. Okay. All right. So 13, 15, 17 total damage. Not bad. Awesome. And which one were you sending that at? Uh, the one directly to the left of Dandy. Got it. All done, Southern's turn. All right, go ahead, Soren. Uh, seeing everything he's got, he's going to try and put them all in one bag, tuck them in, and he's going. Nice, okay. Uh, I can only go 60 feet because I am enlarged, which puts me right on the edge. You uh, also me. <laughs> o is gonna run forty. Or he's gonna use the torch to go forty feet up, and put the last uh, in the roadway in range of his firebolt. Uh, I do. I believe a seven is not gonna hit. Seven will not hit, no. Yeah, uh, and then he's going to go the remaining feet back to try and start running back. 
Uh, Sorin's bonus action would be to heal himself with a healing word and take the dodge action as his action. That does bring us back around to the fire elementals who both get to act. Okay, so having been so taunted by Horus, the first one is definitely going to turn and attempt to grab a hold of him. It just reaches hands out. And you can see it's just trying to grab you either by the arms or shoulders, wherever it can. And that is going to be at disadvantage from the dodge, only a nine to hit with the first one. Second attempt. At disadvantage is only an 8. Good stuff at the dodge. This one is going to move down towards Dandy and attempt the same style of attack. Dandy, Rude. it is an 18 and a 14 to hit. Uh, yes to the 18. Okay. I think. It is yeah. 15 fire damage. Okay. That is not have from rage, unfortunately. No problem. All right, and you are now on fire as articles of your clothing begin to ignite. Um, it will be 1d10 fire damage at the start of your turn, and you need to take an action or have someone else take an action to douse you. And okay. Ildmain is also going to just run forward, putting her just in front of Oxort, as always. Brings us to E. Um, uh, E's going to... Continue to fly closer, and he's going to attempt to flank this fire elemental on the other side, the one that just attacked Dandy. Okay. So anyone attacking it will have benefit of a help action there. All right. Frederick, you're up. All right. So, first things first. My action is going to be used for casting Mage Armor. I just realized, I just realized now I don't have Mage <laughs> Armor active. Okay. And these uh, giants coming closer. So my AC is now at 16, I believe. No, 15. Okay, so... I will be, well, first of all, uh, Dorothla is going to use her movement to attack, uh, to move five. Right about here. And she will take a clean crossbow bolt shot. To the one that's currently right here. Got it. That does hit. Is it with advantage though? Because it has the help action. Help action would give her advantage, yes. So that'd be a crit. Okay. All right. So that's uh, four plus seven. That's uh, is that doubled? Uh, no, it's that. That is already the crit damage right there. Oh, so it okay, is eleven damage. Eleven uh, damage. Which one? The one closest to her? Yeah, the one uh, e uh, that currently. My little footage is currently Got it. messing with trying to pick, flop it, flop him out. He's trying to put him out with like flopping his wings. <laughs> <laughs> Try to stay out of reach at the same time, bugging him. So I'll be 11 damage for her turn, and she can't do multi time across. Well, so that'll be hers. And my action for Frederick was Mage Armor. Okay. I will be moving Frederick. Okay. 10, 20, 30, 40. Yeah, up here. Cool. Okay. Right about here. Oh my god. It's a little... <laughs> so I think I figured out why it does that. I think if you, if you group them, then click something else, it ungroups them. So, it's annoying. Yeah, I haven't really figured out how the grouping works in this. Yeah, because I know it's... Other than the fact that it just doesn't. For the most part. Yeah, <laughs> yeah if I group them and then click something else, it ungroups them. So yeah. like... I have, to, I have to click do everything, then group them, then move them. Yeah, okay, so that'll be, that'll be my turn. Alright. Which okay. stays on the fire elemental and still gives the help action. Okay. 
these little bastards are going to, having been thoroughly pleased with their dealing of with Hugh's house, are going to start running down the hill. I didn't even notice that one. <laughs> so close by. Oh, there is still an animation. Okay. Apparently, um, having animations on of any kind screws with the music. So that is very likely the culprit, but I'll try it one more time. If it doesn't fix, then of course we'll just have to be without it. got one more to the, to the south. One more, thank you. One, does anyone else see any animated pieces anywhere? Uh, one more to the to the south over here too. Oh, yep. Thank you. Hiding under that. Excellent. That's all I can show. Okay. Hopefully that's it. Check up north one more time. sound good. <laughs> nope. Okay. It's done. Okay. So, these guys have finally gotten close enough to maybe get into the fight. Sorin, there's even one right on you, and he is going to rush towards your horse, and as he cannot reach you, he is going to attempt to give your horse a hug. Ooh. Yep. About it. I just like, like the. <laughs> it is only a nine to hit. What's the horse? What's the horse's AC? That's a great question. <laughs> I hope it's above nine. It's ten. Nice. Ha! <laughs> okay, but this little guy who saw Narth go running behind the building is going to give chase. And Narth. It is only a six to hit North. I, it, please tell me North's AC is higher than six. Great. I'm gonna assume it is. He's uh, <laughs> muted right now. I mean, even uh, North's, North's HG North's is uh, currently, I believe, twelve. I believe it was. Right. I mean, even a commoner has a ten AC, so. I think he has twelve, so. Uh, he does indeed have 12. Can you hear me? Yep, yep, you're good. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Oh, that was a good one, too. <laughs> <laughs> These two little guys are going to rush up as well. That is all of them. Brings us back to Drake. All right. So Drake is going to. Oh, can I get a good night? Brand new ice. Uh, uh, is the bat flying? Oh. Is it currently helping right now? I believe E is giving the help action right now, and uh, and Flinch, um, both Flinch both just action. gave his help action. Uh, so if I were to use Rhyme's Binding Ice, could I fire it in such a way that it fires it under the bat but still hits the elementals? What's the what's the radius on it? Thirty cone. Thirty foot cone. Yeah. Unfortunately, not the nature of the cone is extends in all directions. Upwards yeah. and yeah. So unless E is higher than thirty feet in the air, then no. Hmm. Dang. It's hard to hit them with some cold damage when they're all in close range like that. All right, I guess. Well, those small guys. They're probably resistant to fire. <laughs> uh. That's a safe assumption, guys. 
can I do I these guys? Know. There's also, there's also a few up a little bit north there. Are, are they resistant or immune? That, well, that we don't know, but I'm assuming they're at the very least resistant. <laughs> because you fire through resistant, I thought. Not yet. I do. I do. Soon. Well, maybe a bit later, but like, yeah, yeah very soon actually. Um, next level soon. So we're going to hit that one with a mind sniffer. Just right in one reason I do it on anyone else. But I do it on an elemental for some reason. Uh, yeah, we can do, we can do it on an elemental. Uh, we're going to hit this elemental with a mind sniffer. Got it. Mind sliver is an int saving throw. It is. Which I'm pretty sure they're pretty bad at. It does get a 16. Damn. I I guess that I guess it succeeds. Nothing happens. Oh well. Um. Uh, dang. I wish I could do it at the moment. Oh, it's too close to each other. Uh. We're just going to back off this way for the time being. Okay. Luxorts is going to continue his mad charge into the fray. Almost there. Hurrah! Oh, I just realized what I could have done. Damn it. <laughs> can I can I make a quick change? What would you like to do? I actually want to run towards Silverin and give him 20 more black bulbs. Go for it. And hand him over two pouches. Staying away from these little guys. Here, Silverin, take 20 more. That should be enough. Uh show me the path you would have taken to avoid opportunity attacks from this guy and this guy. So if I was right here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Sixteen, and then sixteen more would just be like running this way. Mounted combat much. is so great. I don't know why it's not. I know, before. right? I know, <laughs> and that's it for me. Like I've like I've had games where I just like dropped horses and like take the horse. You have horses, you know, like it very rarely I mean, I is jumped, it actually used. I jumped on it. I jumped yeah, yeah. on it. Immediately. You guys you guys took it like immediately started taking horses around. Alright. Should, should knock that guy off his horse. The map is big. I need horse. <laughs> right. So the two Orogs are going to close up with Urgola. The one in the back, still being a little bit out of range, is going to huck a javelin at her. It is a nat one to hit. Nope. <laughs> I can imagine this guy like not let go of a spear and he just jammed into his own foot. <laughs> Man, I'm really bummed about the music. Okay. I'm trying to get other sources to play and just nothing's working. Oh well. Don't stress. Alright, so this Orog is going to as it approaches, it just pulls this wicked great axe and it's twisting its grip on the shaft of this thing and raises the great axe up to bring it down on to Urgola. Mm. And it is. Oh no. A crit. Oh, don't. Mm. And a 17 to hit. It With the crit, it is 13 slashing. And then eight for the second hit. So Urgula takes 22, 40, 21 40. slashing. All right, no problem. All right. Okay. Oh. Okay. I He's doing better than that. Dandy. So this Orog, now that it is within decent range of you guys, can start using its aggressive trait. And it is going to start charging forward further. Revan, you're up. Uh, the 
first thing I'm going to do since our barbarian is currently on fire is use that I'm a three once a day misty step I have okay. to turn into mist, swirl over here and reform beside her, and then take something to try to put the fire out. Okay, so all you, it just takes an action to put it out. Okay. I'm a... You're my favorite. I'm a... I'll probably then try to, as they just kind of back up a little bit, just some a little bit out of range, and because I don't have to necessarily be up close and personal to mess with all this stuff. Okay. Uh. Yeah, so it gives me a line of fire down there too. So if these things drop, I can attack them. Okay. I think that is my action there. Garls is going to uh, slip up there and try to stab this one that Horus is beside. Oh, 20 certainly and hits. So let's hit it with a little bit of sneak attack damage, too. So Dars is currently here. Yeah, uh, we moved the we moved the elemental a little bit so that horse could see better. I just had to okay. move Darls to keep him up with it. Nice. So fifteen, good stuff. And technically, he's on his horse. I just moved the horse off so that we could see better. Understood. Okay, horse, you're up. Okay, Horace is going to uh, slide around the outside of this one, so I'm within five feet of Dandy, so I can intercept an attack and still continue to uh, taunt the the one in front of me. Okay. You, why you you can't hit a dwarf at all. <laughs> and then uh, Gelrin and. Uh, Hugh, well, let me, uh, Galen now has a move of 50. And a dash of 100. <laughs> Speedy dwarf. <laughs> Speedy over decent distances. I'm stuck. <laughs> Wait, what? So I can get. What is this guy? That is a little magnet. Yeah, that's not. Thank you. <laughs> it's horrifying. But they just want to give hugs to things. It's not their fault right. they're on fire. Yeah. 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 Is horrifying. it not? <laughs> <laughs> I think they. So he's gonna. Horrifying. He's gonna full move. All the way down here, trying to uh, use the fence as cover against this Orog, should he... Uh... Is that an Orog? That is Whatever an Orog. That... that is, in fact, an Orog. Okay. And then I guess Shu will follow. Sorry. Right. Shu. Thank you. Okay. Okay. It is legit a struggle to keep these guys alive. <laughs> You're not wrong. Right. Okay. Youth is going to come down here and just over this fence. <laughs> just bullets everywhere. <laughs> So, you see, you guys can see Huth down there, and he's looking around. Um, he looks terrified, but he you can see him scrunch up his face with determination, and he is going to cast a lightning bolt straight down this line. Yep, close enough. I, lightning bolt at the little guys? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Best he can do right now. Two less on the... It's two less on the field. 
Indeed. Right. Damn. Let it be overkill. Oh, Kill them all. He only has 15 of them, so you might as well, you know, do one every round. Oh, I, just, I, I just realized I never moved Martha on my turn. <laughs> Did nothing with her. Oh, Narth's just chilling in the magnet with a magnet, magmite I mean, in his face. I mean, he definitely would have attacked him. The, attacked him. You know, I, I totally forgot him. And overkill it is because they both succeed their saving throws and die anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Nice. He's then going to move a little bit closer. Uh, Silver, and that would have literally terminated like directly in front of your face. That lightning bolt would have arced out and you would have just seen lightning just shooting towards you and it just stops like less than 10 feet away from you. Honestly thought it was just gonna keep going through me. I was like, all right, this wizard's gonna kill me. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that is Hugh's turn. Brings us to Danny. All right. Uh, Ergola is going to uh, use her mace, Mary Star, sorry, on the one directly in front of her. Okay. 18 certainly hits. Hooray! I rolled uh, the attack for... Okay, six. Uh, is the old rog still standing? He is still standing. He looks hurt. Well, he's gonna get the second one across the face. 20 hits. Yay! And he is still up, but more hurt now. Uh, I would prefer if he fell. <laughs> Dandelion. Do you have uh, double damage on giants, or does not count as a whole rock? That's not giant. Oh, they're half giants. Okay, never mind. But they're yeah. in her way, getting the giants. Yeah. Right. right. Um, Dandelion. Is she still on fire? Did Brevin put her out? Brevin put her out. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, do I have to roll the top damage or? No. Awesome. Okay. Right. Extinguish before the start of your turn. See, we're good. <laughs> Great. Uh, Danny's just gonna like uh, scoot out a little bit. Uh, that would provoke and... an opportunity attack from this one. Just... Oh, oh, then I will not scoot out. I will just. I will rage. Rage. I will stick a javelin in it. Uh, and uh, yeah, javelin. Um. Sad. It's not my fault that all the best memes are Travis. Are Travis really bad memes? Really not it. Rage! I'm gonna javelin again. And damn it! Stand still. Just gonna kill you. Are you right, mail? Are you mailing with the javelin? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm just curious if, a, if there was a if there was a reason you were using the javelin instead of the battle axe. Oh. Are non magical weapons doing less damage? They are. Oh, I have the silver great axe. And a magic yeah. battle axe. Yeah. It's it's okay. It's on it, it, point. Yeah, it's deep. Forgetting that. It's, it's, it's on brand. So for it's Danny. on brand for Dan. It's on brand. Yeah, right. he's gonna go home and let y'all just <laughs> <laughs> call her dumb again. All right. Those two both unfortunately missed though. Um, yep. And Ergola smacked that guy in the face a couple times, and that brings us to Silver. Yes. Uh, yep, Silver's doing his charge. But... Okay. Uh, so... 60 feet. Oh, how, how, did we ever find out how big of a radius this thing is? We established that it is only. The, these little balls only go off in a five foot radius. But with so many of them, we'll go ahead and apply a slight multiplier. So, Silren, why don't you go ahead and describe to me exactly what it is that you would like to do here? Uh, he, he's, bro. like, full bore charging with this riding horse. He, he's, he's got one hand clutched on the reins, the other hand just a pack of pepper. Okay. Uh, I don't know how this interacts with it, but I thought it would be funny to bring up. He is enlarged. Right. Uh, and uh, as Enlarge says, anything that, uh, any item that he has uh, does an extra 1d4 damage. So, I don't know if so, the bag does an extra 1d4 or if every ball does it. Does 1D4. everything you're Doesn't carrying matter. also increase in size? Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> we will up the damage to 1d6 per color. 
That sounds great. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get as close as I can. Uh, I also have an advantage on strength check, so I'm just gonna hug this thing like uh, Pink Man in the Super Bowl. Okay, so you're gonna throw it at him. Is the plan? Yep. Yep. How far from you? How far from him are you? Uh, I want to be about ten feet from him. About ten I think feet. That's... I, I don't want to miss, so I, I, I don't right. care if I have to. Uh, get that's exactly right what up. I was gonna say. Well, if you're close enough, you will not miss. Yeah, I, I, I put a full on hug shot. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going all the way. I'm gonna go right up to him and punch him in the balls. Oh god. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> all right. How many do you have, Soren? Uh, I have fifty. You have fifty. <laughs> all right, Soren. I would like to. I would like you to be very clear about what you, what is it that you're doing here. I 100% know. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> Roll it. 50 D6. And make a deck save. So we'll Oaksort, your horse, and both of these two magnets. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> Here is my deck save. On brand. Oh no. Okay. So here is Oxsword's death save, or saving throw. The crater, formerly known as Tribor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Silrin, you do fail the deck save. So does Oxsword. As you charge forward at this guy, Silrin, why don't you go ahead and describe how it is that you're doing, what exactly happens as you deal 152 damage to this thing. Oh, Soren is definitely jumping up and standing while he's riding this horse like he's from Circus Olay. Uh, and you, you guys can all see that he's got 50 pepper balls in his hand. Uh, and just as he goes in between this giant's legs, he's just gonna dunk it right on top. Just speed bag in that boxing bag, you know what I mean? <laughs> And then all you guys see is a flash. As that flash goes off, Silrin, you do take 152 points of force damage. Oh yeah, I, I am dust. So does Oxsort. And he is fully not flat by this. Moment. Ergola didn't see it happen. Ergola. <laughs> she missed out. So, you guys see this enormous flash go off, this deafening boom and a blinding flash of light. As this happens, everyone that would turn to look towards this would see... Everyone that would turn to look towards this would see basically just smoke and dust, an enormous cloud in the spot. There is no sign of Silrin, and all you can see is this enormous beast of a giant flat on his back. Obviously, the two magnets are very, very dead. He is flat on his back. He begins to stir slightly. So he has 10 hit points left and is unconscious. Well, that's more damage than I'll ever see in my life. Holy shit. <laughs> 152 you just, you damage. You just castrated a giant. Holy crap. Soren. I am afraid you are dead. <laughs> Oh, 100%. I knew that was a possibility. Wait. But oh, I did not want to miss. Did you just say... Like, he just suicided. I thought it would have been enough to, to at least take off one of the pieces off the board. My bad, guys. No, you, no, you wait, did a, he's unconscious at 10 hit points. A stiff breeze kills him now. I, uh, I know what I'm going to do what? next, too. <laughs> Why uh, did you do <laughs> uh, Othavir. Can still go right. Yeah, okay, you still 100% get to act on Oathbreaker's behalf. Here's, here's the, the, the so the Soren, Soren's max HP was what 40 something. 
Ah, uh, forty-three. Yeah, I died like three times over. <laughs> yeah. Oh my there God. is there is literally nothing left of Silrin. It is. <laughs> Uh, so when we will say that whatever whatever effects of yours you would have liked to have survived that blast, they will find among the wreckage, but your body is just gone. Oh, the, I... the gauntlets and the, uh, the... Oh, would my magic clothing survive? That would be awesome. Sure. Yes. Uh, the, the rapier, the gauntlets, and uh, a flamboyant uh, bard outfit. <laughs> wait, wait. Research. And the parasol? Oh no, that's gone. That wasn't all. <laughs> no, 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 what happened was that after the explosion, all we just see is the parasol just gently falling down to the breeze. No, no, the parasol was burned in, in Hugh's house. I don't know what right. you're talking about. Right, that's right. Oh, you're right, you're right. Ah, yeah. Hor Horace, no. my man. <laughs> From that the grave, you hear clapping. The, the mirror images striking dramatic poses as they go down. Oh, no. <laughs> you see, a, no, it's like you know those cartoons where they leave the black uh, a black shape on the wall. You just see you see him po posing a JoJo pose in the background. Jeez, they literally had a hundred. He had one hundred and sixty-two hit points. He did one hundred and fifty-two in just one fell blast. That's nuts. <laughs> okay, one um, what is Mister Nandar doing? Uh, can I use the inspiration for Nandar? Absolutely. All right, let me try and re-roll this. I want him to get this kill. At least he's going out as a legend. Oh, is he? Is he? Where is he? Oh, he's right here. Okay. Uh, he, he rolled up. I don't think so. Uh, I don't think a thirteen is going to hit. A thirteen? Yeah. A thirteen does, though. does not hit. Unfortunately, he he is unconscious and prone, but that does not help for range yeah, attacks. Yeah. Oh, so. Okay, gotcha. Send a horse over his body. <laughs> Wait, the horse is dead too. There's other oh, horses. Yeah. That's that's all gone. I'm just gonna get that off the field so you guys don't have to see that. <laughs> <laughs> that's Ash. Good luck, guys. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Silver, so, what was Damn. your initiative count? Uh twelve. Uh, twelve? Okay, let's go ahead and get him in there at twelve. Please say make another character real soon. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. If, if Sean allows, I'll, I'll make another one, but it'll be down the road when you guys, like, you know, get past this. What'd you say your initiative was, sorry? Uh, 12. Okay, perfect. He actually rolled a 12, so that works. <laughs> and, and I'm sorry, Chris, but you are, you cannot roll a new character. You are just dead. You can, you can... That works, too. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> gonna be the peanut gallery. <laughs> totally joking. You, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with next, honestly. <laughs> Just how, okay. how the start, how he went down like a boss. That was, that was intense. That was crazy. Like, I, I saw it coming. I'm like, is he really going to do it? Just like, it, oh my God, he did it. <laughs> I was just more amazed on how much damage it, it buffed out. Where if anything. How much of the pepper do we have left? 48. Have we have 48 in total left. Um, I don't have any on me. I gave my five to uh, Dorotha. She has them as bolts. Okay. Jesus. That, like, legitimately changes things here. Okay, but for now, you guys still have fire elementals in your face. Let's deal with those. <laughs> I can figure out what the hell Ill... Oh, God, I have to figure out what the hell Ildmane's gonna do about this now. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, this fire elemental, uh, Horus, you were still taunting it, right? Yes. Okay, so it is going to attempt to attack you. Are you still dodging? Yes. Awesome. So at disadvantage, unfortunately, it has a 19 to hit. That misses. Awesome. Now there's... It, it rolled double 22s on the second attack. A 22 just hits. For 10 fire, and you now are inflamed. Hmm. And that brings us to the other fire elemental, who is closer to Dandy. Okay, so Dandy, it is mm -hmm. a 22, yeah. oh no, and a crit. Fuck. Anything yeah, imposing disadvantage on this? I don't think there is. So 16, 23 fire. And down. Oh no. I, I'm going to deflect some of that, but okay. uh, where's my character? 
Well, that's four. 36 altogether, and she has 20 hit points. So. Uh, it was only, it was a total of that. It was a total oh, of, uh, yeah, total of 23. Then she's dead by three. Did that? Oh, okay. And then, uh... Chorus will hey. see what <laughs> So, eight. It has two. Eight points. Oh. Okay, so, so five, she has five. Five plus, she has five five plus left. three. You're up. Okay. So, the first thing... Oh, did I? Thank you. Make concentration? Uh, it looks like you succeeded oh, yeah. on your concentration. Okay. Yes. okay. So the first thing Ildmane is going to do is she is just going to gasp at this scene that just played out in front of her, and she is first going to rush forward to Oxsort. Right. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm just, I'm just, uh, you know, it's one of those things where I really have to get into the character's head to see how she would react to this. And I think what it's going to come down to is Oxort is not dead. So she's already used her movement. She is going to make a medicine check to attempt to wake him. So you see her just rush forward, obviously panicked, and she kneels down in front of him. And you see her beginning to work him over seeing what she can do to try and revive him, to get him back conscious again, and she is going to make a medicine check. Okay. So you see her doing what she can for him, and Ox, she does get a 17 on her medicine check, so Oxsort's eyes are going to flitter open. He is still prone and very badly hurt, but he is still alive, and he is conscious once more. Frederick, you're up. Sorry, E's turn. E's up. Uh, I don't suppose there's anything E can do to put out the obviously on fire damn he being bat-sized. I would say, unfortunately, no. He'll just keep harassing a fire elemental then. Okay. Okay, Frederick, you're up. Oxford is prone, just so you know. Yeah. Oh, I'm in the perfect fucking spot too. Okay. Uh, we're so we're we're going for we're full on murdering these guys, right? Or killing these guys, right? Party agreement. I'm uh. They attacked us, so I <laughs> really don't have any objections. All right. What? guy with the scimitars and the gloves and the fancy coat <laughs> <laughs> well seeing what yeah, yeah, silver I think we're just killing did, them. see what silver just did i'm frederick is just like he, he's still not he's in oxford still not dead he's just filled with rage seeing his, his friend his his friend die like oh, that. He yeah. is casting lightning bolt. Oh, oh, straight oh, at, bolt. Nice. at the both of them. All right. And also and through the minions. Yeah, that would yes, look. <laughs> that would hit three or four, technically. You could line it up. If you were to get right here, you would hit all four of them. Uh, I, th I thought I was. I thought I was close enough for this one, too. I'll, I'll line them up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so get, go and get lined up, and we'll say you hit all of them. Let me go like right there. Like, I, I came running down, seeing uh, to see what that little big smoking crater that Oxford is currently laying in. It. Right, seeing, he's like, just he's laying it in a divot in the ground. I'm just like, and he's still not Jeez. dead. Out of rage, you just see Frederick, just like his eyes light up with, with with blue light, and like you see crackles of electricity coming out of him. That wand is currently glowing with like you know how like the wood has those streaks of of. Or the crevices of, of like of the of how it is, right? You see those parts light up with the blue light, and you see that blast of lightning, just five, like literally. And it says five feet wide. That bolt of lightning is literally five feet wide. And it's nice. going straight through all four of them. So you see, you see them all kind of look up towards you in alarm, and Ildmane behind Oxort kind of lifts him and starts getting up to his feet, and Oxort is scrambling, trying to get up. 
Oxort got a critical success on his saving throw, so he is jumping out of the way, but just before he can jump, the lightning bolt catches him squarely in the midsection. And even with a critical success on his saving throw, it is just, still more than enough damage for him to go down. All, all you hear is just a raging roar drowning out by that lightning bolt. And you just see a whole blast is straight through Oxford going straight to Ilmain. Like that, okay. that, pl that plate mail or that ch uh, full plate armor has a gapping ch chest wound straight through chest to back. Dragon Ball Z style. Dragon Ball Z style. Nice. <laughs> okay. So. And uh, I guess that'll be for Vedric and for D uh, Dorotha or Dorothra. Uh, quick question: If she shoots one of those uh blast uh explosive bolts, would it hit? How how many people would that hit? Or that's just, just for the one it's, monster? It's just the one monster it hits. Okay, so she's she's going to use one of those uh, explosive bolts. And... Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. So if he was prone, that's... he was at disadvantage for his deck save? Was it still a critical success to get out of the way? Yeah, that's what I thought, oh. but I was like, it's still dead either way. <laughs> no, but I knew that either way, if he succeeded or not, he would still die. So I didn't even bother rolling. So as, as I do group rolls, I can roll them all at once. And since I knew he was going to die... if, if Succeed or fail, he was going to die. But no, it probably would not have been a success, but I don't know because I didn't roll disadvantage for him. Yeah, so, and there was that little M thing and that uh, Orog, complete ash. Complete ash. <laughs> That's what they are. All right. And for uh, Dorotha, uh, E is, or if Flinch is still uh, giving the support action or the help action, or is that no more? Um. Well, it would be until the start of his next turn. So he, okay, he would so still be doing it. Okay, so then that's a 12. Would 12 hit? 12 does not hit. Would uh, the explosion part catch him or no? Who are you shooting at exactly? Uh, This one right here. The one that uh, flinches on. Because the thing E's on the other one. That one? Oh, oh, oh. oh the fire elemental. Yeah, the fire 12 elemental. 12 does not hit. 12 does not hit? Uh, what about the explosive part of it? Or it it, it, it like does have to impact. It does have to impact. And um, okay. unfortunately, that does expend one of the balls. Because yeah, it will four. explode somewhere over here. Right. Oh, that's okay. Uh, all right, that's that's four balls left. Okay, that'll be my turn. And Flinch is currently still giving the help action. Okay. okay. Any yeah, remaining just, magmans? All, all I want to say though is I want to I want Ilmay to see Frederick's enraged face with his, with his eyes completely alight. Okay. And he almost looks kind of demonic uh, from like from his face scrunching up and like lights from the eyes coming out. So what you guys do see is Ildmain just breathing deep you can see the heat the heat ripples rising off of her as she grows hotter and ho hotter rage building up inside of her she you can see her looking to your wagon everyone make perception checks that can see ildmain okay yeah. i don't think so perception or insight i'll allow either one. Oh, okay Mm. Would you consider Dandy able to see her? Where are you? Yes. Down in the... Yes, you would. Okay. She is huge. She would loom. Okay. And you said insight? Insight or perception, whichever. Insight or perception. Okay. So, Drake and Dandy, as you're watching, you can see her direct eye line of sight, eye line to your wagon. She's looking at the ground, though, not at your wagon. You can see tracking her sightline. She doesn't seem to be looking at your wagon, and she's most definitely not looking towards Frederick, who has the rod. That being said, there is a magnet trying to destroy Narth. <laughs> <laughs> and it is a 14 to hit Narth. Fourteen hit him. Fourteen hits for seven fire, and North is on fire. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> right, he's over there all by himself. Well, well, <laughs> dang. Okay. So seven fire to North. Urgula is not in great shape over there either, unfortunately. 
Um, I think that is all of the magnets that are in range of doing anything. Oh, no, there's one right here. Um, yeah, he's going to run over and fine. try to get Oath of Beer. <laughs> it is a 20 to hit Oath of Beer, Soren. For so you seven nine, fire. Nine, you said nine damage for Narf? You said nine or damage seven. for Narf. Or, I'm sorry, seven. It was seven. Yeah. And seven damage to Oath of Beer, Nandar. This might be the time for intimidation. And Drake, it's your turn. All right, I think it's time for intimidation. Uh, we're going to uh, start riding up now. How close can I get? I'm gonna ride up to here. Uh, gonna cast my illusion on myself, uh, and as I, as I do, uh, the face of a dragon appears behind me, and with a fierce and makes a fierce roar once again. I just kind of like that roar that the that that uh, primordial dragon made, you know, mm -hmm. except not as loud because it's pretty loud. <laughs> <clears throat> and uh, and as and as I do with with a booming voice, uh, I will say, "Take your losses and leave this town." If so, you do not, you face death. Drake, you can make an intimidation check, but you are going to have to do so at disadvantage because she is on the verge of an absolute mindless rage. She just saw her partner go basically get evaporated. And mm -hmm. those that she that have done it, she has zero respect for. So it will be very difficult. The DC is going to be high. And you will have disadvantage because I was on her turn. She is going to roll a wisdom save to see if she is going to just go into a mindless rage and fight to death right now, or if she is going to cut her losses and leave. But that is going to be up to a wisdom save on her part. Okay. So let's see. Intimidation. Boom. Oh! Let's go. 25, that's got to beat the DC. I, I did say that it was at disadvantage. Oh, 17. 17 oh. does not do it. I did set Dang. the DC at 18. Ah! Uh, oh, you did you use your inspo? 18. Uh, don't use wait, would inspo make it straight? If I use inspiration, could I, make, could I take the 25? Yes. I will do that. Okay. So she stands up, looks around again, looks at the heaping at the at the crater in the ground that has the body of her partner in it. She looks over towards the wagon again. Again, you can see that she seems to be looking at the ground at the feet of the at the feet at the base of the wagon, not at the wagon itself. And she is going to turn and begin. You can see her turning. It's not her turn yet, so you don't get to. She, she doesn't get to move yet. Can I uh, say something before she turns? Uh, on your turn, you can. Oh, okay, I want to say something to her before she left. But okay. She's not leaving just yet. Um, if you'd like to shout something, you can shout something at her. Oh, I just want to shout out. We're even then. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Drake, anything else? Uh, let's see. That was action move. Um, I'm just gonna quickly add on uh, and make sure you take your little minions with you. Um, as I look at the little elemental over here, and kind of like use up the rest of my horse's movement to get close and kind of like glare at it, glare at it menacingly to tell it to back off <laughs> from Narth because I'm protecting him. Like the cool person that I am. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I will become Narth's savior. <laughs> that is going to bring us to the Orogs. Yep, that's it. <laughs> and these two are 100% going to surround Urgula and start wheeling on her with battle axes. 
Eh. <laughs> oh my god, Eddie. All right. It is a 20, a 10, a 21, and an 18 to hit Urgula. I think three of those hit. Yeah, three of them hit. Oh my god. Urgula takes, yeah, yeah Urgula takes a grand total of 8, 16, so 24. And I fail. It looks like 36 slashing damage Urgula takes. Take her off the field. Okay. I tried. I tried. I mean, you role played her perfectly. You really did. Like, this is 100% how she would have done this. So she gets, she gets hit by the first one, goes down, and then death saves. Yeah, she died. Yeah, she does get her death saves, so. She is not dead just yet. All of these NPCs do get death saves. And do we have any other Orogs? Nope, the only other one got blown up with Silrin. Oxsword's dead. I'm the only one who failed to kill the, the people right. attacking her. The combat's not over <laughs> yet, don't worry. All right, Brevin, you're up. Uh. He is going to fly up to Dandy. Uh... Move himself, or he's probably the one going to take an opportunity attack from this as he tries to put her out. And is Danny on fire again? Grab her. She is on fire again, damn it. <laughs> I'm always on fire. <laughs> and attempt to drag her backwards. Okay. Uh, Dandy, are you willing to be dragged? Uh, yeah, I have two hit points. I'm pretty much crispy. You are, you basically get, dragging takes half your movement, so however, how away. much movement you have left, Take you have half. Away. Uh, I still, I think I was like 20 feet back, so I have 40 feet left of movement, so. Oh, come on now. Damn, I'm having a hard time clicking on my character to move them. Oh, they move some. And I guess move Dandy somewhere down about like that. Okay. Uh, he is going to firmly advise her to drink healing potions. <laughs> um, it is a 14 and an 11 to hit on the opportunity attacks. Uh, 14 would hit. Or it uh meets it meets it so it beat it for 11 fire. Jesus, stop hurting yourself. As I am crispy. <laughs> Ooh, and there goes the fly. Um, uh, uh he lands in and, uh. Okay. Am I still on fire? Revan, I... did you use an action for anything? Uh, I attempted to put her out. Okay, so there you go. It, there's no attempt. You, all it takes is an action to do. Okay. Okay. Anything else from Brevin? And Dars? Uh... Dinner, he's off. Hmm. For some reason, I don't. Well, he's already done his action, so he can't. So I don't think he can really do anything at the moment. Okay. Uh, Dars, though, however, uh, let me get him back up here because I moved him so I could actually see my character. He's here where. And horse is nearby on the other side, so we're going to try to swing with a short sword again. Oh, not going to do it, unfortunately. Eh, crud. <laughs> All right, Horace, you're up. Uh, Gelrin has uh, axe attacks. Are his, he makes and sells silvered weapons. Are his axes silvered? They are indeed. Excellent. So let's... Right, that's a move. Okay, so 
Gelrin is going to move flanking to Horus, and then he's going to make uh, axe attacks. How do I make attacks on... Oh. Huh? Yep, and then you can hit the one that says battle axe, and it'll do it. Oh, nice. And Sorry, is that <laughs> so? Oh, that, that, that that's the that's the one d ten, but he's making the okay. So we can just add we can uh... the multi attack, right? Makes two battle axe attacks. Right. So we can attack again. Battle axe again. Uh, eight does not hit, unfortunately, but he does get two more of those because he is hasted. Hasted. Twenty five hits. Nine does not and nine does so, not. So, 14, 20 damage, not bad. The okay, twenty damage. Oh wait, he was flanking, so he gets the the eighteen and the twenty-two. So those all hit. So another nine and another five. That does mean one dead fire elemental. Excellent. And, uh... Oh yeah, I was, I was gonna say, um, Flitch. Sh it should have been advantages of all of those. Okay, cool. He did get advantage advantage on all of them. Oh, okay, cool. All right. And then I'm then Horus is going to move next to uh next to the Smith so that he can uh intercept and for my action I'm gonna put myself out. Okay. Okay. All right. Youth is going to come running somewhat towards the fight, somewhat not. If he comes, he comes. If he doesn't, he doesn't. <laughs> yeah, seeing everything going on here, I think he's just going to run farther towards you guys. All right. Dandy, you are up. Um, how do I do Urgula's saving throws? It would just be a d20. Wait, 10 or higher is a success. That is one Beep. failure. Big oof. She died the way she lived, <laughs> giving Fighting a little finger to a monster. <laughs> All right, you're up, Dandy. Uh, Dandy. How close is she to Goon? So Let me remind you, my character has strongly advised you to <laughs> down a healing potion or two. <laughs> Dandy, do, Dandy, do we it. have some in the group loot? Where is that? Um, if you just wanted to take a regular, a regular healing potion, it would be your action, and I believe it is two D four plus two. Potion of healing. Yep, two D four plus two healing. And I'll just uh, take one out of the group one to from seven down to six. I completely. We need a bag of holding. That's what we need. Grab. Um, and I. That's my action, so I lose my rage. Womp you womp. pop another one. All right, I'm done. Okay. And the nearest thing's doing fire damage, so that doesn't it isn't helping as much on that. Silver, what is Oath of Europe up to? Uh, I think Oath of is just gonna back away i don't think he can really do anything um yeah because even against a fire elemental he's he doesn't have anything magical for it oh, oh, oh I, okay i take that back i'm sorry he does have a first level spell for witch bolt oh nice uh Let's see if he is he thirty feet away, about thirty feet. He was. Oh, yeah, from uh, the fire from the fire elemental. Right. Okay. Um. Here's witch bolt. Twenty one hit. Twenty one hits. Uh, so it'd be a D twelve. Why roll a persuasion? Uh, because uh, his persuasion is plus five. Uh, and okay. his and... casting ability is plus five. So I just Perfect. rolled it so instead of rolling. Yeah. Uh. 
and he does one point of lightning damage. Oh, yeah. But he is now connected in a <laughs> spiritual way to that fire elemental. Okay. Right. And that brings us to that same fire elemental who is going to just move towards the closest enemy to him, which is Horus, who is still dodging or no? Horus, are you dodging right now? Sorry, muted. No, okay. I put myself out. It is a 25 and a 14 to hit. 25 hits. 14 fire, and you are ablaze. Hmm. 14. All right. So, Ildmane is going to look towards Drake with just this look of just hatred. And she shouts something up into the sky. Those of you that can speak giant can hear her say, burn it all as she turns to start walking away. Oh, she's going to leave her minions there, but walk away herself. <laughs> she looks towards you, Drake, and she says, this is not over. And then she begins her march out of town. Hmm. Uh, am I, uh, can I shot something at her again? <laughs> uh, Be careful. Yeah, I was I, gonna say. Uh, yeah, but like, I feel like this is something what, what Frederick would definitely do. <laughs> would you guys be okay, or I'll oh, shut up? She has pronounced her intent do, to leave. Obviously, is begrudgingly doing so. Do you what you know. think your character would do, because that's the fun of role playing games. But be careful how you word it. <laughs> keep in mind frederick is right now is currently fueled with rage and seeing that she just said i under i understood what she said so i'm here like you coward <laughs> as she begins to turn she looks back towards you and her flaming mane of hair just turns bright blue and shoots upward Frederick, she reaches down, picks up a rock from the ground, hurls it at you. Go With on. A 25 to hit. Hmm. That's a, that's a good, that's a good, uh, you know what? That's a good way to shut, shut him up. Yeah, I hit. For 28 <laughs> bludgeoning damage. How much? 28. Okay, that, that definitely shuts up Frederick. <laughs> and she charges at you. Ah, yeah, that's a good way to shut up, Frederick. <laughs> and we'll pick up here next week to watch Frederick get <sighs> smushed. <laughs> that's a definitely...